TalkShit Radio is a Kennedy Studios Productions. The opinions stated by various contributors to TalkShit Radio and its radio programs are not to be considered as or endorsed by Kennedy Studios Incorporated. Visitors are urged to use their own discretion to draw their own conclusions. All information, products, services, and use of this website is for entertainment purposes only and personal use only. TalkShit Radio Network does not confirm nor deny the validity or accuracy of the information contained within the website or broadcast. Any services or products provided by TalkShit Radio Network and its host contributors should be used solely for entertainment purposes only. This is Lewis, and you're listening to Talk Shit Radio. You want to get high? Are you a pothead, Farker? Oh, man. I'm so high right now. I have no idea what's going on. It's Laura. Let's talk some shit. Are you ready, stoners? Oh! <coughs> Hold on, kid. <coughs> oh! Who lives in a bung in a dormitory? SpongeBob, hemp, hemp. Disgusting and green is the gear SpongeBob, hemp, hemp. Smoking the chronic is something you do. SpongeBob, hemp, hemp. Put your thumb on the cob and he'll smoke it with you. SpongeBob, hemp, hemp. <laughs> You know, Hasbrick, I can't think of anything better than hanging out with my best friend and playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater. (laughs) I know one thing that could make it better. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I am. Then I'll just roll up a big fat... What's wrong, SpongeBob? We're out of seaweed! No! Wait, I've got an idea! Uh, what? Let's go get some more! Good idea! <sighs> Seconds later. What do you want, SpongeBong? Hi, Squidward! We'd like one sack of Primo seaweed, please! That'll be 65 clams. 65 grams, huh? Um, hold on. Here you go! That's just a bunch of junk. Not worth a stem. Get out of here. Flipward, please, just this one time. You gotta help me out, man. I swear I'll pay you back, please! No, no, no. And don't come back till you have 65 clams or something that's worth 65 clams. But we're broke and we don't have anything that's worth 65 clams. Then sell your asses on the street. (gasps) Oh no, what are we gonna do? I don't want to sell my ass on the street. I have an idea. Are you sure this is a good idea? Sure. Now we can trade this stolen stereo for some seaweed. I do it all the time. Yay! And our asses remain unsullied. Hey! What are you doing to my car? Mr. Mr. Crack! Crack. Ah! Get back here with my stereo, you bottom feeders! Seconds later... One of you. Check it out, we got an index CD, DVD, MP3 player with 32,000 color TFT display, detachable face. Can we get a sack of seaweed for this? Hell yes! Thank you! This thing is awesome. My stereo! Give me back my stereo! Uh oh. Stop stolen goods, and I'm stealing it back. You got that sucker? I got it, alright. Hey, you think Squidward is gonna be okay? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Screw him! <laughs> He's a jerk. <laughs> Hashbrick, I think we're getting busted again. <laughs> so what? <laughs> yeah, so what? Nah. Are you ready, stoners? Take care of your business and accept credit cards with Square.
I guess you're gonna miss the Panty Raid. Panty Raid? You're talking about girls, right? Girl girls? Yeah. And you're talking about raiding their dressers for their underpants, right? Oh, yeah. Give us some credit, old man. We're panty professionals. We score here all the time. Really, Bing? We hit the jackpot! Oh, yeah! We hit the Woohoo! You finally came through for me, boys! I feel young again! Who wants to lick my cheeks? I see I have some takers! Now, Gary, we can do this the hard way or the easy way. Or the medium way. Or the semi-medium easy hard way. Or the sort of hard with a touch of awkward, easy, difficult, challenging way. So that's how you want to play it, huh? In fact, there are 13 bad words you should never use. Don't you mean there are only seven? Not if you're a sailor. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it, SpongeBob. Patrick, that's not a ride. Get off of me. Oh, yeah. Krabs, it's that time of the month. Well, I don't think you can be the mom, Patrick, because you never wear a shirt. You're right. If I was a mom, this would be kind of shocking. Make me lots of money! Bye, Squidward! Bye, Mr. Krabs! Bye, Squidward. You said bye, Squidward, twice. I like Squidward. Flop and flounder, Mermaid Man. Make out reef. Those things! Attacking hormonally stressed out children! Ah, uh, make out reef. Good time. Hey, look! Mr. Krabs put in a kitty ride! Why don't you try it out? I can't find the coin slot! Here it is! <laughs> I guess I don't need this disguise anymore. Gary! Uh, I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. Okay, that didn't work at all. They only seem to increase their appetite for wingers. We need stronger tactics. Right. Something that would make Mr. Krabs' whole winger thing blow right up in his face. Yeah. Blow up. Look! The balloons! Don't drop them. You snickering floppy ear hound. When courage is needed, you're never around. Those medals you wear on your moth eaten chest should be there for bungling at which you are best. So stop the pigeon, 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 stop the pigeon. Ow! Nab him, jab him, tab him, grab him, stop the pigeon. You silly, stop sneaking, it's not worth a chance. For you'll be returned by the seat of your pants. And clunk, you invent me a thingamabob that catches that pigeon or I lose my job. So, stop the pigeon, 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 stop the pigeon.
Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Talk Shit Radio. These guys, I caught them all off guard. They're all... You're usually like, we're going on in 30. They're all scuttling around to get their headphones on. What the fuck you're talking about? My headphones are on. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling shit. good. I just love listening to Talk Shit. I love the show. Well, shooting the shit with Polly B. We love that you love this show. Oh, Welcome yeah. aboard. Okay. Polly B. Oh, I just oh. got a I just got a ding, message ding. from Facebook. I didn't. <laughs> we know you didn't. Okay. Fuck with my mic. Oh, it sounds funny. Oh, what's up with that shit? It's like magic. Turn it. Just turn that big. No, no, no. The big one. Ah. Uh, Oh, wow, that sounds funny, huh? It does. Also. <laughs> <laughs> the sound when you, when you play with the, the big one. The sound of... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for the sound of silence. Ready? Nope. Big one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly. I got the crickets already. Alright, so... I was, uh... Chilling out last night, hanging, chilling, hanging, chilling, chilling, you know, all that good stuff. You know. <clears throat> um, you know, I, I found out something about a, a bunch of people on my friends list last night. Oh, well. Yeah, I read some I read some messages that I don't think they wanted me to read. The cat's out of the bag. Oh, uh, yeah. It just so happens that eight minutes ago from Brook Ridge, Florida, one of these people just posted something in it. Popped up on my wall. This um, is, your this wall is, or on like talk oh, shit wall? Oh, on my wall. I'm just, you know. Oh. What the fuck? How did they do that? Because I feel like I can never post on your goddamn wall. That shit's like, oh, he's Well, no, not it's, it's not on my wall, but And it's I can't like, tag you in anything either. Nope. Ever. Nope. That's why Michelle gets everything or mm-hmm. talk shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, how the fuck does he do that? It's like, just annoying. I, I Because I have my security settings so high because it's it's hooked to my phone. I would have that fucking thing would not stop going off because everybody tags me in something or you know what I mean? So, yeah, I just thought it was interesting last night that I, I intercepted a conversation between um, somebody who's been uh, a guest on this show and somebody who's been a host on this show. Oh, oh shit. yeah. He's back. Huh? Is he back? Oh no. Oh, I was gonna say because oh, no. Brookridge is right. Yeah. No. 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 She's in Brookridge. Um, and I intercepted the conversation, and uh, I, I just, I was, I was pretty, um, I was pretty amazed on how, um, what's the word, uh, how much of a flake this person is, really. Oh, is it makeup? No, no, not no that it's just yet. the way that, that, just the shit that this person was talking to the other person about me, and then right in another, you know, uh, message that was to me from that same person, it was like the contrary, so what a two-faced fuck, and when I see her, she's going to know exactly that I know, because I'm going to make I my know. comments, you know what I'm saying? The minute I'm around this girl, I'm going to make my comments about being a two-faced fucking cunt and how I ain't got room in my life for two-faced fucking cunts um, who are nothing but um, leeches because that's really all she is. She went from one dude, got child support from him, now looking for another one so she can get more money from You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just hangs out with somebody who's got a lot of money just because they got a lot of money. And, I you wish know I knew saying? somebody with a lot of money that yeah, would just let me hang out with them. No. <laughs> the, the, light, the light has come on. I, I've learned a lot of things about some of these people that I've been dealing with. And it's just, it was simply by um, just intercepting some things that were not meant for me to see. And uh, it's pretty funny. It's actually still all on that computer. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but I... I had some fun. I had a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> Reading it? Oh, God, it was hilarious. Because it just simply went to go show how ignorant that they really are. You know, um, and it, and it's just, it goes to show another one of them things that, uh, you know, it's amazing how many friends you got when somebody needs something from you. The minute your usefulness is, is gone, you ain't got no more friends. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that's a pretty good setup, man. This guy's got a fucking screen door 
that goes down in front of his garage door, but it goes down like the garage door goes down. Watch. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, it don't take long. It don't take long. Oh, that's going to that, that, that is the shit. Close your door. That... Oh, dope. That Tell is me that ain't fucking the fucking cool, bomb, dude. man. Now watch. I He's going to go back into it. He'll open that up. And then I'm going to put this up on the Facebook in case everybody's wondering. But look, ready? Grab the two little locks, Pink. Back up it goes. And it locks to the garage door. So it closes oh, with yeah. the garage door. Oh, yeah. That's pretty fucking cool, dude. That's the shit right there. I like there. that. I want huh? one. I want one. I can cut. I want one, too. <laughs> oh, I put it on my wall instead of talk shit. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh look, Groupon, sixteen ninety nine. You can get a selfie stick. Nice. Yeah, happy joy. Happy joy. You know. Somebody's outside. Yes, heard I that? heard that too. Uh huh. Oh man. I'm I to steal my lighters out of my car. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. <coughs> they so, better not. We just stole those fucking lighters. Yeah, we just fucking stole them fucking things, bastards. We um. We fucking what a what a day yesterday! I gotta tell you. <laughs> Dennis Leary it says, "Racism, racism." <clears throat> one more time, racism isn't born, folks. It's taught. I have a two-year-old son. You know what he hates? Naps. End of list. <laughs> yeah, right. No, so. Love him. So you guys know about you leaving, baby? Mm-hmm. I love you. Did I guess somebody just pull up in the driveway? Mommy taking you, or? Did somebody just pull up in the driveway? No, they shouldn't. Well, you probably shouldn't be pulling up the garbage. Oh, okay. oh all yeah. right. Yeah. All right. That's what it was. So. Oh, let me get this stretch out of the way. Oh, oh there we are. Yeah. Okay, so you guys know I got that show, Blunt Talk Radio and Real Talk Radio, right? That's not a show anymore, I thought. Um. Well, Blunt Talk Radio, I'm not too sure what the fate of it is. Um, I got a text message from Mike yesterday. And what really? started it was um, you don't pull a no call show no show on me. Right. All right. I had the common courtesy and the respect to call him when I had to cancel. All right. He pulled a no call no show on me, and then you know later on that night he's out fucking Chinese restaurant or eating sushi and all of this stuff, and and he comes back to me. He's like, yeah, I went out eating, and I, did it. you know what, dude? Let me tell you something, okay? You you made a fucking commitment, all right, to be here at a certain fucking time. I canceled a job that would have made me 650 bucks every single Thursday night wow. just so I could tape your fuckboy show, okay? You not showing up and then sending me messages the way you did last night will only piss me off, okay, and will only get you in problems with me. Mike, you may be a big tough guy wrestler, okay, but you have no fucking idea who I am and what I'm capable of doing and how I like to do it. So, with that said, all right, we can go on and continue doing Blunt Talk Radio, but if you ever, ever disrespect me and talk to me the way that you talk to me in this fucking text i will slap every fucking one of those piercings clean out of your fucking face i don't know if i can make that any clearer but that's just the way i am okay so i I just it just fucking pisses me off it's it's you know um he's a businessman he's got a business he runs a dj business okay Right. So, as a businessman, you would think that, you know, you would have some respect for another businessman. Well, obviously not. And like I said, we can continue doing business. Fuck me one more time, Mike. I swear to God, I will go talk shit bat motherfucking crazy on you. Period. Oh, yeah. And you know me, Laura. I'll, I'll fucking, yeah, I'll go crazy. I'll spend a week doing nothing but badgering your ass. <laughs> I'll send emails out to everybody you know telling them that you're fucking incompetent. So I, I just don't play that fucking game. You make a commitment to me, you stick to it. Now, as far as Dennis... I don't know who this Pauly B is, but he says that he'll totally kick his ass for you. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, Louie likes to kick ass Pauly B, but oh, it's okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for the offer. I got that means he- a lot. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I got Henry the Hitman, so he, he likes the snap necks. He actually enjoys that shit. 
I actually have to keep him away from shit like that because he likes it so much. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> yep, serious. He does, man. He, you want me to kill him? Okay. <laughs> what is today? Uh, it's the 19th. Today's Tuesday. We're supposed to have Takeover Tuesday today. Oh, yeah. What's up with that? I don't fucking know. I don't rely on anybody. They're not fucking taking over. Nope. Nope. They're not. They're not here. I don't know if they're coming, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, you know, I just fucking, I, I grow tired of people um, thinking that, you know, I fucking owe them something. Look, you want a show on my my network, then pay for it. Go to any other network, you're going to have to pay for it, you know? Yeah. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to do. I can't put it any plainly, you know? I, I don't want to be a dick. I wanted to fucking move on. And poor Dennis. Dennis is his, Dennis is his sidekick. Yeah. You know, we're supposed to do real talk radio with him. This poor I guy, know. he's, you know, he's caught in the fucking middle. And wow, I didn't put deodorant on today. Man. It's a good thing it's not hot in here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. It's just I usually want to go like this. I smell my wonderful deodorant, and yeah, I didn't smell anything, like, girly today. I, I know, just right? Smell, That's like, a weird plain. sight when you come walking in and see your wife's <laughs> face buried in her armpit. Hey, I like that. Well, I know, it's kinky time. <laughs> right? Because that's Isn't how me and Jim got our kink on it. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, through the pit. Each other's <laughs> you know, actually, it's really fucked up. I came to Florida. So, was it our first Christmas? No, our second Christmas together or whatever. Jim was um, rehired by his father with, you know, it, like in July. He was like, just so you know, dude, we're mm -hmm. totally going to Laura's parents' house for Christmas. He right. was like, I will come back with you knowing I'm out for Christmas. You know what I mean? Like, so he's like, yeah, no problem, whatever. Come on back. So Jim goes back to work and he was like, now it's Christmas time, you know? And he's like, yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to Florida. And Joe's like, well, not for nothing, but you need to, you know, work that out with your manager. And he was like, you fucking own the company and you're my dad. He was like, I told you when you rehired me, I'm going to Florida for Christmas. So it turns out Jim's their fucking father says, well, if, you know, the manager doesn't say yes, he was like, well, then you're fired if you go. So Paulie and I and his girlfriend and Karen at the time or whatever, we all come to Florida. Jim got fired anyway. Yeah, I would have fucked up shit right like so he didn't go to florida he stayed up there and still got fired like so when i'm down here and i'm all like god i wish i had my boyfriend with me <laughs> well paulie and karen are all together and my parents and it's christmas and i'm alone like so my dad gives me this book and it's called the joy of sex it's from like the 70s i don't know if you've ever seen it or whatever like yes i have uh it's actually the same book in oh what's that movie where they make the porn and then they try to take it down and oh what's it called with uh Oh Jesus! With, with, uh, what's with the face? guy, it's the uh, new movie. It's yeah, new with movie. Cameron Diaz. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. You know what movie I'm talking about, or it's whatever. In the cloud. Like yeah, uh huh. That movie, like, and yeah, they sit there and they're like, "That's what it says in that book." Is that like the armpit is actually quite like erogenous or whatever? And if you lick the pit, it's supposed to be all ooh super turn on. And then I'm like. Ew, who wants to lick pit? You know what I mean? Like, deodorant is, like, gross. I got dared one time to lick deodorant. Like, oh, don't ever do that. Oh, like, that's just nasty, so you know, Sometimes dude. it's worth losing the dare. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I can't imagine doing that ever again Oof. on purpose, like, in someone's armpit. That's almost... I didn't know yeah, that, that I licked the stick. You know, a, like, uh, that's, that's almost... As, yeah, no, that's worse And than, then, like, yeah. I hope it's a girl pit and not a guy pit, because then, if not, you're licking, like, hairy armpit. Right? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't Do you think. see this onion bread? Uh, I love onions and bread. Okay, What's well, I, I'm going to have to share this on the, on the Facebook page here. I'm going to share this on a friend's timeline here oh shit yo cuz we're friends no. uh, <laughs> this is where you can check this out and this is what i want you to make for me next <laughs> he's like this yo, is what this i want for so like, like oh my god we, i got the original fucking martha stewart here on the show this girl can cook yeah, I love My food. God, man. No, 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 fucking no, 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 no. kid that don't even like fucking broccoli and cheese soup ate like five bowls of it. I'm sitting outside yesterday and this kid's like, oh, man, you got a lighter? He was like, I fucking forgot my lighter. And I was like, whatever, dude, I'll come smoke a cigarette with you. Like, So I go outside and I'm like, I give him my lighter and he's looking at me and he's like, damn, girl, you got some thick thighs. Some I'm like, thick thighs? I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I love food and that's where <laughs> it goes, you know? And he was like, no, nah, there's nothing wrong with that. He's like, you're usually behind the counter. And I'm like, um okay like right yeah yeah well right. i'm glad i know how to cook and everyone can see it like, <laughs> like and i'm proud of it no doubt no. like yeah <laughs> exactly 
Oh, shit. All right. That's funny so I got the notification, but now I don't see. Uh oh. How the fuck did that happen? I don't know. Oh, here we go, because it's way down here. How did that happen? Have you seen these fucking 3D Ooh. printers, dude? Mm hmm. Are they not the fucking shit or what? Yo, those fucking things are badass. I want one oh, so really bad, oh, dude. That's good. A new 3D printer method that grows solid objects from liquid bath. It's a hundred times faster than anything on the market today. I fucking want one because this thing is amazing, man. This is at seven times the speed of what it actually is, and it just... It's incredible, dude. I want one. I, I, I can't even tell Some you how. Some cheeses. <laughs> She's reading that. Some scunions. Some scunions. <laughs> this. Like, hmm. <laughs> um, what's his face there? Uh, shooting the shit with Paulie B. Says, what's, uh, what's your favorite thing to make? Oh, man. What's the best thing I cook? You got to ask. Uh, the best Jim, thing you cook. Me. Yeah. Usually the best stuff we eat, I cook. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> fucked up, Jen. <Jim. laughs> <laughs> Just shot that one down the drain. No, everything you make is fucking good. I can't pick a favorite. I haven't in, had anything that you've made that I haven't liked, so uh, that's all me I either. got. Me either, no. <laughs> yeah, like me either. Me either. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Nothing know. I eat of yours I that I didn't them. like eating. I love Wait them. a minute. Food that is, god damn it. Uh, wow, now that's it might a be the broccoli closet. cheese soup. I feel like that's, yeah, that's if the not winner. The broccoli and cheese soup is the shit. You make is good too. Uh, if you make minestrone I soup, soup, I want some minestrone. Mm. That's good stuff. I love soup. Yeah. Crank up the air conditioner. We're doing soup now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Get in here. Yeah, turn it down because we're going to heat it up. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go with the broccoli cheese soup. That's what everybody's always like. Oh, Laura makes amazing broccoli cheese soup. Like, I have yeah. to say, mm. it was good. That's for sure. Mm. Well, I just for friend requested this girl. She's so hot. Mm. Mm. How hot is she? Very hot. Very hot. It is. Smoke it. So hot that I want to see her naked. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty hot. Show me your boobies. <laughs> Show me your boobies, please. It's a scientific thing. Yeah, right. This is mm -hmm. just for, you know, scientific right. research. It's only That's for it. scientific research. I must fondle them for at least an hour. <laughs> She'd be like, and that does what? To Enough check for cancer, yeah, you know. It does like nothing, <laughs> dummy, except make me happy. <laughs> Scientifically, that's been proven to be safe. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You gotta smack him around for a while. That's it, fuck it. Although, I want to say that I heard that, like, a lot of, like, what? jostling of the boobies Playing is actually, boobies is yeah, healthy? like, oh, no, that it's yeah. not healthy, oh, actually, really? like, damn, too much shakage <laughs> of the boobage. Too boobage. Much shakage <laughs> of the boobage. Yeah, it's not good. It's, that sucks. I yeah. was going to go around and shake you everybody's have to be boobies gentle and be like, what are you doing? Them. It's good for you. Just let me do it. Gentle. Mm -hmm. You have to... You have to caress. And yes. The, yeah. What the fuck was that show I was just watching last night where it was going around rubbing everybody's boobies? I love doing that. I like doing it too, but usually <laughs> yeah, I usually get slapped when I try. Ha ha, for both of you, it's because <laughs> yeah. you boys. Right, those, uh, fucker. Well, you guys all want equal rights and shit like that. <laughs> if females can run around grabbing each other's tits, guys Not should be able to do it too. Uh, I should be able to do it too, right? What the fuck? Uh, That's funny. What the fuck is this octopus doing? Is he carrying a fucking coconut? <laughs> he put the lime in the I coconut. swear to God, there's an octopus <laughs> walking across the bottom of the floor with what looks like to be two halves of a coconut. And now he's getting in it, and oh my God, it is. And he's going to close it. Look at this. Look at this. Are you, you're seeing this, right? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. He's going to fucking close it. Did you see that shit? That's fucking funny. That was pretty wasted, huh? Yeah. Could you imagine swimming around seeing a, cockro a, a, a cockroach? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, that guy's a big cockroach down here. <laughs> um, that so that these that fucking that. jamokes are dangerous kidnapping kidnapping suspects here in Pasco County. I guess they're still at large. Great. 
Yeah, it looks like Moon Lake. After being bound and beaten for hours Sunday, a man somehow escaped and submitted... Oh, fucking ads. I submitted a text. Uh, <laughs> stumbled into the convenience store to call 911. The store clerk said the male victim was bleeding from his head and was clearly been struck several times. Pasco County Sheriff's did not release his identity in order to protect him, but they did release the names of four suspects. Um, guess what? Chicken butt. You ain't getting them. <laughs> They're gone already, dude. <laughs> Petty, Bada, Alexander, and Elderman. I, I bet you those motherfuckers are hiding gone already. If they aren't, they're fucking idiots if they stuck around. Uh, but yeah, come on, Pasco, get these fucking idiots. I think I got audio with this. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, ooh. Why are you right? windows and doors? Can't no, that's I'm hear that shit. Uh, 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 wow. Yeah, so. That one actually hurt. In local news, there's some fake $20 bills floating around Hernando County. Like, a lot of them, uh-huh. actually. I, um, when I was at work yesterday, Greg, which is, uh, Marilyn Manson's stepfather or whatever, okay. next door or whatever. Um, he called up and he Not was like, literally, <laughs> right?" But I was gonna he say. called up. You don't know who Marilyn Manson is? I do. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, really? Like I thought we discussed this. Um, so the he, Marilyn Manson? No, no, no. The the girl that we call Marilyn Manson? Oh no, I don't know who her next shit. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so um, her wow, stepdad called the, was the like, older <laughs> sister, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he called and he was like, "Listen, I just went to the bank and the bank was like, listen, there's a lot of fake twenty dollar bills going up and down fifty, so you better watch your shit, like so." I mean, if no you're shit. in Brooksville and you're getting a twenty dollar bill, make sure you hold it up to the light. And really? Yeah, it's nice. apparently real big. Well, the fake credit cards idiots. and then the fake twenty dollar bills yeah. are fucking going around, man. They're like, stupid fuckers. They go out to the convenience store with a fake twenty dollar. Go buy a bunch of drugs, resell them, and now you just cleaned your money, you idiot. Yeah, no doubt. God, what's wrong with these jerks? Yeah, that's you always idiots, what you do. No doubt. For a group of men accused of kidnapping and beating another man <laughs> oh, happened yesterday morning in the Moon Lake area. Fox 13's Michael Shingleton talked to the sheriff's office Michael about Shingleton. the crimes today. I would hate having Sounds that name. pretty rough, no Michael. It Sounds sure does kill. Hey, Mike. Releasing the identity of the victim because of it. They say that he was lured to a location, kidnapped, bound, and beaten, and somehow he managed to escape and called 911. So far, they've arrested one man and seized several guns. They're still looking for three others, though. Joshua Petty is in custody. About a dozen yeah, guns were seized, and Pasco so investigators petty. are looking for three more suspects. We need them to be in custody as soon as possible. Petty, Anthony Bata, Joseph Alexander, and Brian Edelman are accused of kidnapping and profusely beating a man. Sunday morning around 11, deputies say the victim thought he was helping out a friend of his in danger. Turned out to be an ambush. Once he arrived, there were a number of people who attacked him. Deputies say the group went after the victim. They beat him over and over. He was hit in the head with a gun. At some point, he was tied up and then taken to a separate location. After a four-hour beating, the victim somehow got free and stumbled into this convenience store around 3 p.m. An employee said he had blood gushing from his head, so they called 911. Three months ago, across the street from this store, three people were found murdered. A fourth was shot, escaped, and survived. The murders and the kidnapping don't appear to be connected, but this area is a hotbed for deputies. Unfortunately, it's an area that has had its problems in the past and hopefully those problems can be curbed and you know we don't have to hear too much more about Moon Lake. All of the suspects have legal problems of their own. I would say yes that they are familiar to our uh, agency. They've all been arrested several times throughout Pasco and some in Hernando County. The sheriff's office plans to add a few more charges to the list but they need help. If people do come in contact with these subjects, if they know their location please reach out to the Pasco Sheriff's Office (coughs) Um, Lord. welcome to Moon Lake. I mean, I know, right? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I mean, they that's don't, shady shit. Yeah, they don't call it that area Shady Hills. No, don't for that nothing. That leads into Moon Lake for no reason. You want to talk fucking the trash of the swamp? That's where they are. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. You know, I thought that was like made up when I moved down no, there. They're no. like, oh, yeah, we're going to Shady Hills. And I'm like, there's some shady shit there, huh? And they were like, yeah, actually, there is. And I'm yeah. like, oh, is that a real place? Oh. And they were like, yeah, dude, Shady Hills. And I was like, oh, all right. I thought you were being a smart ass. Like, I would love for the sheriffs to let me ride along with them one day. Right, with the camera. With the camera. Mm-hmm. And just like let me guide them where to go. Because I'll tell you what, I'll point them in about 
fucking 50 different fucking meth houses that I know of. No doubt, because they're out there. Yeah, they oh are. God. You know, we'd have a blast. I'd, I'd knock on the door and be like, hey guys, how you doing? I'm doing a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot to tell you it was with the cops. Oh, yeah, no, it's that right, like, <laughs> boom, uh, boom, 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 open right. the door, it's ATF. Like. <laughs> Could you imagine how fucking scary that's got to be for those cameramen? Like, oh, I was thinking for the meth heads, they'd be like, oh! <laughs> fuck them, they're fucking tweaking anyway. They're the f- next door neighbor farts a little too loud, and they're jumping up going, what was that? Did you hear that? Look out the window, somebody's here. Jesus, uh, somebody's here. Somebody's oh here. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out quick. Oh, uh, yeah, well, you know. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, singing, flag, killing me softly. All right, so we got some little girl singing the song. Let's, let's see. She's a little girl, so. Michaela. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> Wasn't that good? Don't be too proud, Dad. Oh, uh, nice, dude. <laughs> Let me crush your fucking dreams and aspirations. Yeah, it wasn't so that good. Don't, don't get too proud, Dad. Dad. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Hundreds of kayakers are, are blocking the way for Shell Oil to move their massive oil rig out of the port where it is. Um, where, is it? where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, my fucking God. Share this. Fuck you, Shell. Just because you don't act or do in the name of the people. Our country was founded and for we the we the people share 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 okay um all righty then uh green oh it's greenpeace and all of them kind of you know the planet people um <laughs> oh that's what it is they're trying to move this rig out into the arctic ocean greenpeace is saying you know no 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 this is this is up in seattle washington um, they want to stop it from going up there and, and you know, doing all this shit. I, I got some bad news for them. And honestly, I mean, if this was me and that was my company and I just spent, you know, $300 billion on an oil rig, there was a bunch of jamokes sitting there going, stop. Hammer time. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh Oh, I got a fucking tugboat. That's a hundred. This place is a hundred million tons. I'm pulling a fucking oil rig. That this place is two hundred billion tons of water. Yeah, no doubt. If you're not getting out of the way. That's your bad. Shame on <laughs> <Sorry>. you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if my boat don't crush mm. you, the fucking props are gonna chop you the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I'd be the only one going. Stop the oh fuck! Here it comes. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> Run. Yeah, I'm not a very good protester. <laughs> My life's in danger. I'm out. I said I give up. No I'm doubt. Done. I'm out. Peace. It was fun while it lasted. You right. know? Yeah. So two years ago today, my sister, who I no longer speak to, puts on my wall, check your Powerball tickets. Someone won in Florida. Eileen, it wouldn't have fucking mattered if I won anyway. You wouldn't have seen a fucking dime. Come on, Eileen. Uh, yeah. I would have told you, go Oh, man, dude, it. that fucking bread looks so good. I actually finished Isn't watching the whole Isn't that some good video. shit? That looks like some good shit. Mm. Um, yeah, 600 million is what it was. Yeah, oh, yeah. I wouldn't even have gave you a fucking dollar. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'd, send, I'd send you a dollar. <laughs> I'd only give you 25 cents. Yeah, I'd send her a dollar. Fuck it. Fuck it. Um, what else we got going on here, guys? Again, I have yet to look at the news. It's funny. I, I click over to her Facebook page, and she's such a fucking... Uh, a, a Jim Brown, you know what I mean? She just... Miss fucking community. If you guys only knew what a fucking drug addict she used to be. That, and I, I don't mean 20 years ago, 30 years ago. I mean, it's like five fucking years ago. That chick was addicted to every fucking pill there was out there. Snorting them, fucking eating them, any fucking way she can get them into her. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny as hell. She fucking put everything into her body. You know, the fucked up thing is, is I'm the biggest dirtbag drug addict in the family. The only thing I do is smoke pot. I don't even drink. Yeah, hardly ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure, it's say, funny when you do that. I drank four fucking beers the other day. I was fucking let twelve o'clock, one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so funny. He was like, 
don't you have to work today? I was like, yeah, at four. Like, <laughs> How the fuck are you going to do that? Like, I love your post, no more drinking before work. <laughs> you're pretty yeah, well, Oh my God, too, I did. Man. I had so much fun at work that day. Like, it must have been pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. The best time I ever had at work was tripping my balls off on three hits of acid. <sighs> but then again, that was a trend for me. I would take a couple of hits of acid, go to school, go to the mall. <laughs> Uh, go go to the fucking. It didn't matter. I just wanted to be around people so I can laugh at them. <laughs> yeah, right. I love people watching. Yeah, well, the best thing was is I went to a handicap school, so all the kids I went to school with were fucking drooling on themselves and shit, man, and f- all all in wheelchairs. So now you take a hat, a, a hit of of white blotter acid, put yourself in that environment, you are gonna have the best fucking trip of your life. Well, either one of the two, you're either gonna fucking freak out or you have the best trip of your life. <laughs> I just I didn't have to control it, so I never had a bad trip. But yeah, it was it was it was fun. What kind of spam do I have? I got a whole bunch. You know what? I am I'm amazed on how much spam I get per day in my Gmail oh, account. I know. I just cleared this last night before I went to bed. I got thirteen hundred new fucking spam messages. Thirteen hundred wow. overnight. Holy shit! I got to stop signing up for all that porn. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Look at what it's doing to your inbox. Oh, my God. Man, it's just killing me. <laughs> I guess my sister got another new dog. Like, she needs another fucking dog. The house smells like cat piss as it is. Yeah. Yeah, that was another thing. I, my sister, she'd be like, oh, you guys are coming up on vacation. You can stay with us. No, nah, it's okay. Why not? Uh, I just want to stay in a hotel room. Meanwhile, Michelle and I are looking at each other going, because your fucking house is disgustingly dirty, and it smells like cat piss for seven fucking years. Yeah. It's horrible, man. How can you <laughs> fucking live like that? If my mother was still alive, she'd smack you in the fucking head and be like, clean this fucking mess, you slob. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> and then my brother, my brother's Marine Corps, so you can just imagine, you can drop a fucking egg on the floor, grab your knife and fork, go down there and eat it up, you know? <laughs> He's fucking, that motherfucker wow. was like ridiculously clean. I'm getting messages here. What do we got? Oh. What is it? Oh, oh no, maybe it's I'll... just notices saying that people are having birthdays today. Oh man. Robot hand jobs are gonna be part of the future. Robot <laughs> hand jobs yes. will be part of the future. Yeah, and the future is coming, it says. Serious? <laughs> I'm, I'm not just coming. I fucking want one. Jim, are you on the talk shit page? Can you post to the talk shit page? I'm yet? not on any pages. What the flocka? Yeah, no. Set that shit up for me. I don't even care if you just use my name. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he doesn't have a Facebook. Oh, you don't have a Facebook? I don't have any of that shit. Oh, well, then you're I'm fucked. off the grid. You're fucked. <laughs> no doubt. You're fucked. Can't well, no robot hand jobs for you, then. Can't help uh, Pauly B., what's your Facebook name? Yeah, Let's Pauly get you B. on hand added. Does he want robot hand jobs? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a robot hand job, Pauly we're, B.? Let's shout well, him out we're completely. We're already ready. pimping them out. Oh, wow. Tim Seppi. Is that Giuseppe's brother? Tim <laughs> Seppi liked Talk Shit Radio Network 11 hours ago. Oh. Wow. Who's Tim Seppi? Tim, my, my old buddy, the guy Uh-oh. that... Oh, was I didn't know his last name. And, yeah. He was just always broke back Timmy. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. Well, he's not broke back Timmy anymore. He's just Tim. He's just Tim. Man. Hello, Tim. Yeah. Wow, I'm, 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 I'm impressed, that? dude. Yeah. I'm actually glad that he fucking... He's like, yeah, that kind of made my day. It did. I'll be yeah. honest with you. It kind of fucking did, you know, for him to come back and like my fucking page again. So this cool. says, smoking a cigarette reduces life by five minutes. Laughing increases life by ten minutes. A laughing smoker never dies. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's true. <laughs> Whoopsie. No oh, doubt. Yeah. Did you see the insights for the page? Oh, my God. Up new fucking... The new page likes are up 33.3%. Nice. Total page likes are up 3,584%. Um, posts that people you know have seen are up 279%. Uh, people have, the posts that people have reached, they're up 289%. Fucking people engaged is up 192%. I mean, the fucking numbers are just going crazy on the Facebook. Um, <laughs> you notice our followers on on Spreaker have, uh, have jumped as well. What is the that? Oh, the half-peeled potatoes. Yeah. Is that not the funniest shit? Mm-hmm. 
Read the I caption. The, yeah, read it. it. Yeah. Read what it says. It says, a man morning. sees his wife busy in the kitchen. It says, can I help? She says, sure. Take this bag of potatoes, peel them in half, and put them in a pot to boil. No matter what men do, sometimes, or somehow, we still get yelled at. This is how they fucking peel the potatoes. So like. there's all the potatoes in a, bo- in a pot. Yeah, half, half peeled. peeled. <laughs> I love the one that says, I told my husband, can you take some pasta out and put it on the stove so I can get dinner ready when I come home? She's like, this is what I came home to. There's a fucking pile of spaghetti on the stove top. <laughs> <laughs> No pot, no nothing. Like, good morning, oh, love. Shit. That's like my mother used to ask me for an egg sandwich. So I'd give her an egg sandwich. Like, here's an egg. Awesome I'd bread. put an <laughs> egg in a piece, two pieces of bread, and go, here you go, mom, enjoy. She, oh, man, she used to get so mad. Spider web. The thing you walk into, which suddenly turns you into a karate master. Tall, 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 tall. I feel like every fucking day when we leave my dad's house, I get attacked by a spider web. Like... It's terrible. All right, so we're going to hit you up. All. I'm, I'm looking for you on Facebook now. Do we know you, or, or are you? I don't know anybody named Paul uh, down here. Yeah, no, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, he is from, I'm not going to say too much about it, but um, there is no way for me to add you as a friend. It's not letting me. Oh, um, yeah, it's not. I see what you yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does not look familiar to me. Not to me. Either. But I'll be honest with you, Paul. If those are cool pictures, yeah, I always wanted to go those, get those done. Yeah, those pictures that you got did they look really fucking cool. And honestly, you know who he could pass for in a movie? The Scarecrow. Yes, I see why you would say that. Am I wrong? The guy who played it. in the original um, Wizard of Oz, the Scarecrow, you could actually pass for his brother, dude. That's not an insult or anything. That's fucking. That's no bullshit. You could actually pass for dude's brother. You look a little like him. He's like, oh, fucking nice. Thanks, yeah, baby. No doubt. Saying I'm looking like a fucking scarecrow. <laughs> That's yeah, not what not I mean. Not at all. Just That's the guy. I mean. When yeah. he's a guy. Yes. Like, <laughs> the guy. Yeah. When he's like, you know that guy. You when know, he's this that, guy. That like, guy. Uh-huh, the, like, you know, the, the dude. He's the guy. He's over there. He's, yeah, that guy. Um... <laughs> Doesn't well, it say, looks like you're going to have to go to Talk Shit Radio and add us. Yeah, you're going to have to go and add us as your friend, brother, because it's not we letting We can't me. add you, no doubt. Yeah, there's no place for me to add you as a friend. It's just saying I can message you, or I can report you, or I can block you, and I don't want to do either one. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. <coughs> oh, man. Appreciate you tuning in, bro. Don't forget to, uh, to uh, like us on Spreaker as well. Because then you'll get all the um, all the the notifications when we go live. Okay, so name something your mom hit with hit you with when you were little. Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, we know that one, Michelle. Sorry. Name the stuff she didn't hit me. With. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I feel like my mom like wore a lot of rings. Kind of like me. So she would go to punch us, but she would always miss because she's like a terrible throw. And then like the ring would fucking like slit her arm. You know, be like, Mom, stop scratching us. Like, I fuck. um, I would just have to say her fist. Yeah. Yeah, my mom didn't fuck around. She'll turn around, belch in the fucking mouth, knock it clean out and say, what the hell did you do that for? Yeah. Yeah. My mom was no joke. Ask her sister. They were leaning one day on the couch, leaned in to kiss this dude. My mother fucking seen him, walked up behind him and, and smashed, pow, her. <laughs> smashed her fucking heads together. Take that. Her sister went home. I felt so bad. Her sister went home with this fucking egg. Mm. Huge. Like two inches big on her head. Is your phone dying? You need no. a charger? Oh. No, no, no. It was just hot, so I was cooling it down. Oh, you put it in the thingy? Yep. That shit works good, don't it? Now it's ice cold. Yeah. Why was it so hot? What happened? Where did you put it? In the freezer? No, right in the AC. Oh. Uh-huh. But it's looking at me strange. Stick it in the hole. He no stuck doubt. his phone in, <laughs> in his <the> cold <laughs> hole. Hmm. Hmm. Things that make you go. Hmm. hmm. Right. This chick right here, I want to get stoned with her. She seems so cool, man. And the chick would be. Uh, her. I don't want to say her name, but she's one of my friends on Facebook. Wow. She just always posting pictures. She's out west. And it always looks like she's got really good buds, man. (laughs) I just want to fucking smoke with her, dude. Wait, where is it? Where's the one I'm looking for? She's just got... Wow, enough selfies there. I know, that's the only thing I don't like when you're obsessed with selfies. There's one where she's got a pile of buds in front of her. 
<laughs> and it's like the dankiest, gankiest looking fucking weed you ever seen. And you can see in her face, she's so baked out of her mind. I just, I want to hang out and smoke pot with her. She just seems like the type. Not to mention she's fucking hot as hell, but her husband looks like he would beat the shit out of me. Yeah, take that, Lou. <laughs> right? Oh, you're wrecking my wife, huh? Yeah, smoke at this. <laughs> Here's one of them, look. She just did it, did it, smoking her um, blood. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. What? Well. That looks, well, look at her shoulders. That looks weird. Doesn't that look weird? Yeah, how did she get that? Oh, like, did, Or maybe yeah. it's her hair? No. Yeah. That's fucking weird. I don't, I don't know what she did no, that with her shoulders. That either. That's a cool picture. Yes, it is. That's the sun going down over the Pacific Ocean. Yep, that is beautiful. That's why I want to get the fuck out of this coast. You don't see that shit here. You'll never see the fucking ocean like that. Where is this picture, man? You got to see it. She's got this pile of dank-ass bud in front of her, man. And she's just, you know, there's like four blunts in front of her. She's got one in her mouth, and she's just like, <laughs> goes down. I love the picture, man. It's fucking great. <clears throat> Let's see, Kermit the Frog. You have got to be kidding me. I saw one of Kermit the Frog the other day standing in the butcher, hanging over the meat case. Right. And uh, Fozzie the Bear and uh, one of the other, or Gonzo comes up to him and says, So I heard uh, you and Miss Piggy are having problems. And uh, the caption on, over Kermit the Frog says, Not anymore. If you look in the meat cases, there's a bunch of pork chops in there. <laughs> That's funny, D. <laughs> it was pretty good. Yeah. It was definitely pretty good. Yeah, I love those things. He's like drinking tea, and he's like, but that's none of my business. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that ain't nothing I need to worry about. But that's none of my business. <laughs> so you had mentioned yesterday, somebody had mentioned yesterday, Morgan Freeman's going to be the new face for, for medical cannabis. Is, is, this one, yes. is this what I'm hearing here? That's well, what what's it up said. with that? Um, He's gonna start lobbying. Well, he or? has fibro. What's it called? Fibromyalgia. Yeah. So smoking helps with that. So he's trying to like get everyone to just legalize across the board. Is right. what it says. Like. Fibromyalgia is that that one sickness that when the doctor can't figure out what the fuck is wrong with you, he says, "Oh, fibromyalgia." Yeah. I, I you know I I just everybody that we've ever known that has fibromyalgia they can't tell you exactly what's wrong with them because they don't know neither is the doctor so they just ah, it's fibromyalgia fuck it <laughs> fuck it what's up mama how you doing this morning nothing to say microphone's on Hello. Hello. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to talk. To I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Go away. All right, so now I lost what I was doing. I have like two Facebook pages open. I don't know which one I was doing. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, right. El Paso County. Ah, oh, look Texas at that shark, babe. Issues. I want a little baby shark like that. I tried shark to give you one. You didn't want it. What a baby shark? Saltwater shark? You ever yeah. see those sharks that come in a jar? They're like, mm, like a big. I'm obsessed with sharks. They're dead? Yeah, they're dead. And they sell them in a little jar like well, this. Why would you want I'm a dead a... shark? What the Patrick fuck am I going to do with a live one? Night. Anything you want, really. I just throw it in my well. dad's pool. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> throw some salt in there, you're good to go. Yeah. I feel yeah, like it's dead. one thing. The kids would never go swimming again. It's one thing to swim with the turtle. It's another thing to swim with a shark. You can say it like... Yeah, probably not the smartest thing you're going to do, but... Yeah. All right, so I got some rednecks shooting some shit. I want to hit a gun. Bye-bye, baby. Yeah. I want to hear the gun. Yeah, I want to hear the, the caliber oh, of this thing. Oh, yeah. Coffee, that sucks. Come on. Here we go. Shoot it already. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wasn't very loud. Wasn't a very high caliber rifle. And the dude fucking missed. Big red fucking gas can. And you still <laughs> missed. You're only about 300 feet from it. He sucked, dude. Oh, this is not a good situation. All right, so I'm watching another video, um, and the police uh, beat a father in front of his two children in a after a Portuguese soccer match. That was the stupidest thing you can do because those motherfuckers are crazy. Mm. They fucking they attacked the police. <laughs> 
Do you ever see that shit when they go crazy in the soccer games? They go fucking nuts, man. Yeah. Usually seven or eight people get trampled. Yeah, them. dude. They go fucking crazy over there over that shit, man. It ain't that good of a fucking game. What is this guy making? I know. Out? I was just looking at that. Like, what the You're fuck is this? You're seeing this, right? He's shoving shit into yeah, a fucking sponge. sponge. Uh-huh. <clears throat> fuck is it a magnet so he can clean the inside of a jar oh, oh how so pretty what a good idea or instead of going through all that work you could just stuff a rag in there and turn it and it'll do the same thing but that is a good idea it's like them fish tank cleaners yes uncle dave has one of those yeah. angela used to play with it all day me too <laughs> i used to love that thing i had the cleanest fish tank in the neighborhood just because i wanted to play with that fucking magnet and then once it falls off, you're fucked. He says, what the fuck? It won't let me add you. Well, it won't let us add you either. It won't let us add. Why? I don't know why. Go to Lewis Kennedy. Uh, no wait. doubt. Or, oh, that Laura. Yeah, I'll, I'll put the link to my personal Facebook page up here. Copy. And that's where you should go. And I will suggest you to everybody after that. If you go there, I guarantee you should be able to add me as a friend. Unless I got it that fucking locked up to where you can't even do that. <laughs> yeah, it might be that way. You could just go to Oh That Laura because that one's, yeah. you know. You can go to Oh That Laura. Pretty and, easy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why uh, Why my shit's all locked up. I don't do it on purpose. I feel like you do. <laughs> I do. She's like, don't tell anybody. Don't tell no one. <laughs> I just don't like it when people write stupid shit on my wall. I mean, I, it goes up there. I have to approve it. But, and most of the shit, you know, is like rebuttals to things that I say. So I'll put that up there because I like a good fucking argument. <laughs> That's funny. It says the invention of the word boob. Here, look up. The invention of the word boob. All right. Boob. The invention of the word boob. Top view. Bottom view. Side view. Oh, my. <laughs> That's funny, <goodness>. right? <laughs> that is fucking Perfect. That has got to go on fucking Facebook. Yeah. Talk shit. That's definitely. a good one, right? Like, that is good. Go boob. Like go boob. We like boobies. We are the boobies type of kind of guys. <laughs> Have go- you ever seen this five gallon bucket air cooler air yes, conditioner? Yes, that shit is so fucking dope. Isn't that fucking cool? They've been those shits for years. Yeah. Yep. It's long, a ghetto fucking AC. Yeah, a long time ago I've been making them fucking things, man. Well, we're in Florida, so it's a redneck. You know? Actually, you know what? I mean, if you think about it, Jim, something like that um, <laughs> in, a, oh, sorry. In, in like here, in a garage or something like here, oh, that would fill that bitch up yeah, it would, it would work really good. I might have to make one now. This sign says, welcome to Amsterdam where it's hot. Please dress for the body you have, not for the body you want. Thanks. Yeah, enough <laughs> said, dude. Listen, if you're 985 pounds and your ass is as wide as a fucking... Yeah, leave the tea bags at home. Yeah, if your ass is as wide as the passing lane next to you, <laughs> please don't put on fucking yoga pants. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. It is horrible. And then, they... they I, 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 all right, so I want to know, Okay. And if there's any big, huge, giant women out there that that would like to talk about it and and that don't give a fuck how they look, um, because it really doesn't matter whether you're a fat slob or not, as long as you're happy with yourself. Um, When you look in the mirror in the morning and you put those pants on... Do you say this looks good? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, do you... And when you see all that shit hanging everywhere and when you move, you, you sneeze and it wiggles for like 10 minutes. Do you... Is that appealing to you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't get that. It's like chubby chasing dudes. What what part of that is appealing? Well, I mean, I, there's a lot of it, but I mean, it take you 20 minutes to find the appealing part. Yeah. And do I they guess. carry baby powder with them at all times? <laughs> no doubt. I want to know. Can't the baby powder. minds <laughs> want to know. <laughs> like, oh, terrible. Oh, no. Yeah. This chick is about to fucking... Oh, okay, I thought she was going to take a fucking... A poop? No, I thought she was going <laughs> to sit on the copier and... And poop? And oh my God. do like an ass shot on the copier, but... Let's see. What do we got here? Chris Liu. Um, wow. Yes. Okay. Lovely. Uh, 
Will you guys take the show for a second? Damn, that's tripe as fuck, yo. It shows a picture of this girl kissing her man who's in a neck brace or whatever. It says, my ex got shot seven times, then thrown in the woods. Stuck um, stuck by him, helped him learn to walk again. I used almost all of my college tuition to pay his hospital bills, did everything I could as his girl to support him. As soon as he got better, what'd he do? He got my best friend pregnant. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, dude? I would... Oh, Mic whoa. down, mic down. Whoa. All right. We're awake. Hello. Uh, Hello. So I'm going to put a uh, video up on Facebook. Um, please, please go check this out. It's funny. It's a chick. She goes and s- starts taking pictures with <laughs> with a copy machine. But watch it to the end, and, and you'll see what I mean, what's funny about it. Uh, it says, I choked on a carrot this afternoon, and all I could think was, I bet a donut wouldn't have done this to me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking carrots. <laughs> uh, get you every time. No, you playing the video? Fucking carrots. Uh, no, he anything. just posted it. <sighs> yeah, he said take over the show. Took off. Yeah. Throughout my wine. Yeah. All right, so I read, I read this, this thing this morning. Important facts to remember as you grow old. Death is the number one killer in the world. Sure is. Life is sexually transmitted. It's true. Good health is merely the closest. No. Good health is merely the slowest possible rate at which one can die. This is true. Mm-hmm. Give a, por- a person a fish and you'll feed them for a day. Teach a person to use the internet and they won't bother you for weeks, months, maybe even years. Also very true. (laughs) Health nuts are going to feel stupid someday lying in a hospital and doing nothing. Also true. All of us could take a lesson from the weather. It pays no attention to criticism. Ain't that the truth? (laughs) In the sixties, I was listening to Michelle. Sorry. In the sixties, people took acid to make the world weird. Now the world is weird. And people take Prozac to make them normal. Ain't that some shit. Mm. And lastly, don't worry about old age. It doesn't last long. It's true. <laughs> that's pretty good, right? Yeah. That's a good time. Uh, all right, so I guess I got this uh, Holy Beast guy friend requesting me here. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't see it. Wow, Sony is blowing you the fuck up, huh? Uh, bing, bing. Oh, that's Facebook? Yeah. I don't know. Pauly J. Bodstock. And I don't see your... Your, uh... Huh. It's a hacked up day. It's a hacked up day. Everything's all hacked up. I don't know why. Uh, oh, that's fucking terrible. <laughs> you seen that? You, the video? Yeah. With the ass? Yeah, that's fucking funny. At first, I'm like... And her it? tongue's on it. Yeah, oh. that's, that's why I was like, at first, what's the significance? I don't get it. And then you see the picture of the dude's fucking balls. <laughs> it's like, oh, yummy. I love that, dude, because rubbing your tongue is going to make it go away. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's like... Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's take a break because I have to tinkle and get Yeah, you want to take a break? Mm-hmm. Right. We'll be right back. Talk Share Radio Network. Attention, if you've had hip replacement surgery and suffered any complications, you need to listen to this important legal alert. Major manufacturers have made billions of dollars available to award legal claims for defective hip implants. Thousands of these defective hip implants have been recalled by various manufacturers. If you've had hip surgery and suffered complications, you may be entitled to receive significant compensation to help you deal with your complications. You may be eligible to receive money to help with medical expenses, lost wages, and pain and suffering. Protect yourself by hiring an experienced trial attorney. Our partner law firms are experts in hip replacement surgery lawsuits. Find out now if you're eligible to receive any of the $2.5 billion hip settlement fund. Call now for free information. 855-586-1560. 855-586-1560. 855-586-1560. That's 855-586-1560. 
In these uncertain economic times, you've got to do whatever you can to save money. One of our biggest expenses can be our cars, especially when unexpected repair bills hit. Not anymore. If you own a vehicle with less than 130,000 miles, is less than 12 years old, has a warranty about to expire, or even no warranty at all, you could stop paying for car repairs. Roadside assistance, towing, and rental coverage are all included. Don't wait for the next repair. Make one free call right now to see if you qualify. If your vehicle vehicle is less than 12 years old, has less than 130,000 miles, even if it's out of warranty, paying for car repairs can become a thing of the past. Call us right now and get your car protected before your next repair bill hits. Get protection and no more repair bills. Call 877-229-7271. Again, 877-229-7271. That's 877-229-7271. 877-229-7271. I I didn't believe it. Neither did I. No way could you professionally remove unwanted hair pain-free and at home. My thoughts exactly. Remove my face and body hair without expensive, painful office visits. Not possible. Great minds think alike. Until I tried No-No Pro. Mm-hmm. Wait, you tried No-No? Yes, and it works. I use it on my face, legs, bikini line. We're BFFs and you didn't tell me about No-No? Here, this is my new No-No Pro. The most powerful No-No made. Custom treatment levels, less hair in less time, perfect for any skin type. Try it. No hair, no pain, no time consuming expensive office visits no no and no no for a limited time you can try no no pro risk-free you'll also get the facial kit and a travel case get weeks of long-lasting results that's it i'm getting a no no great minds do think alike (laughs) try no no pro risk-free by calling 800-953-2993 800-953-2993 that's 800-953-2993 800-953-2993 If you want to work until you keel over, have less of everything in retirement, or give back more of your hard-earned money to the stock market again, then just ignore me. But if you'd like to protect the money you save, receive a steady, predictable retirement income, and enjoy financial security for as long as you live, then listen to this. You can download a free report that reveals the wealth-building secrets Wall Street and the banks don't want you to know. You'll learn how you can get guaranteed growth, safety, and real prosperity without risking your money in the Wall Street Casino and how to get the money you need when you need it simply by asking for it. This is the best way to have a 100% secure retirement and know your money will last as long as you do. To learn more about this method and to get your free report, go to 28security.com. That's the number 28security.com. 28security.com. Go to 28security.com. Are you disabled? Has your disability insurance company wrongfully denied paying your claim for benefits? Or maybe you didn't even know you had a long-term disability insurance policy through your employer. The smartest thing you can do right now is call the Disability Group for help. Don't try to take on the insurance companies alone. Listen to how one phone call to the Disability Group has helped people just like you. They were on my team. They were on my side. If anybody in my family needed, you know, help... I would refer them to the Disability Group. And you pay nothing unless you win your case and receive your benefits. The Disability Group will put you in touch with a nationally recognized and experienced team who will fight for your rights. Call the Disability Group right now for a free, no-obligation consultation. Remember, the call is free and could help you secure thousands of dollars a month in benefits. Dial 800-448-8604. That's 800-448-8604. Call 800-448-8604. Call now. Muttley, you snickering, floppy-eared hound. When courage is needed, you're never around. Those medals you wear on your moth-eaten chest should be there for bungling at which you are best. So stop the pigeon, 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 stop the pigeon. Ow! Damn him, jam him, tam him, grab him, stop the pigeon now! You silly, stop sneaking, it's not worth a chance, for you'll be returned by the seat of your pants. And clunk, you invent me a thingamabob that catches that pigeon or I lose my job. So stop the pigeon, stop the pigeon, stop the pigeon, stop the pigeon. 
What's the O stand for? Oh, my God, it's early. Speaking of early, how about that Cro-Magnon, Marty Drywitz? Thank you, Marty, for silky smooth sound. Make me sound like Peggy Lee. Freddy and the Dreamers. The wrong speed. We've got it on the wrong speed. For those of you who are recovering from a hangover, that's going to sound just right. Let's pull it right back down. Let's try a little faster. See if that picks it up a little bit. Let's get up on 7, 18. Those pilots are going right now. I really like the music. I really like the music. Oh, still a bad song. Hey, wait a minute. Let's try something. Let's play this backwards and see if it gets any better. Oh, this new vip. Freddy is a devil. Oh, this new vip. Freddy is a devil. <gasps> hey, uh, hi, can you help me? What's your name? My name's Roosevelt Lee Roosevelt. Roosevelt, what town are you stationed in? I'm stationed in Poon Tang. Well, thank you, Roosevelt. What's the weather like out there? It's hot. Damn hot. Real hot. Hot of this is my shorts. I can cook things in it. Little crotch pot cooking. Well, can you tell me what it feels like? Fool, what is hot? I told you again. Were you born on the sun? It's damn hot. You can be a little thing. I saw it so damn hot. I saw one of those little guys in the orange row burst into flames. It's that hot. You know what I'm talking about. But what do you think it's going to be like tonight? It's going to be hot and wet. That's nice if you're with a lady, but it ain't no good if you're in the jungle. Thank you, Roosevelt. Here's a song coming your way right now. Nowhere to Run To by Martha and the Vandellas. Yes. Hey, you know what I mean. AFBN, rocking you from the Delta to the DMZ. AFBN, better than AFVD, which means you have to get a quick shot. We're moving on right now. A riddle for you. What's the difference between the Army and the Cub Scouts? Ah, Cub Scouts don't have heavy artillery. Hey, I'm in Detroit Hour. I'm only getting 1600. Why? Because I have to. It's the Army. Talking out the field today. Hi, what's your name? Hey, Bob Fibber. Bob, what do you do? I'm in artillery. Thank you, Bob. Isn't we play anything for you? Anything. Just play it loud, okay? No. I haven't meant nothing to you. I just came from Crete with women that look like Zorba. Woo. Thank you. <laughs> Those girls are just so pretty. Gomer, are you here in Vietnam? Yes, I am. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Linda, why did you name your daughter Linda Bird? Because Linda Dog would be too cruel. <laughs> Easy, girl. Easy. You know, if you pick them up by their ears, it doesn't hurt them as much. Oh, you're going straight to hell for that one. Watch out over there. Here's an incredible coincidence. Ho Chi Minh, Colonel Sanders, actually the same person. <laughs> you be the judge. Our lines are open. Something real special right now. We've got our traffic report up there on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. How's it going up there? Uh, Adrian, it's not going uh, exactly well. There's a water buffalo, Jack Naff, up there. It's not a very pretty picture. There's horns everywhere. I don't know what to say. We're going to maybe drop in a little nape on there and try and cook him down. Maybe a little barbecue. We've got a special man in the audience today right now. It's Mr. Leo. He's a fashion consultant for the Army. But thank you, Adrian. I'm just very happy to be here. I want to tell you something. You know, this whole camouflage thing for me doesn't work very well. Why is that? Well, because you go in the jungle, I can't see you. <laughs> you know, it's like wearing stripes and plaid. It's for me, I want to do something different. You know, you go in the jungle, make a statement. If you're going to fight, clash. You know what I mean? <laughs> thank you for that lovely tune. That funky music will drive us till the dawn. Let's go, let's boogaloo till we puke. That's about it for the Adrian Crown Hour. I'm going to take myself out of the driver's seat, but I'm going to turn you over right now to Mr. Excitement, a man with limp damaged hair, but nevertheless a fireball, Dan Levitan. <laughs> Great. Shit Radio Network, everyone. How are we doing on this shitty ass Tuesday morning? Um, um, hello. Um, hello. Hello, love. Is there any more coffee or no? Um, no. I don't have any. Yeah, my well, cup is out there. There's no more coffee. I was going to make more, but I don't know I how. I don't have any in a few minutes. That's Will you have more? Huh? Are you gonna have another? I'll have some more. Yeah. Yes, yeah, more. Mm. I will have another cup. What yeah. is this you sent me, baby? Let's. No, I'm see. actually all coffee now. 
You're all coffeeed out? Okay, if someone has offered you, has offended you, insulted you, or disappointed you, let it go. If you are Louis. if you are remembering all the ways you have been hurt or forgotten, let it go. Ask yourself, what good does it do for me to hold on to this? I had a shirt that said, let it go, Louie, let it go. <laughs> so that's why I sent it to him, let it go, Louie, let it go. Uh, I got a little bit of a conceptual thing about behind that whole thing there. And maybe it's just me being a fucking maniac or whatever it is, but that aggression and, and that hatred and, and all of that pent-up anger that I have, I use that on a daily basis, okay? Without it, I don't think I would be who I am. Does that make sense? Without that hatred I know, right? What would a fucking nice-ass Louie be like? No, yeah, I would, it's true. It's true. I would not nice be the person. Me. Well, <laughs> I, it's you and I mean. My He's character like and who I am, the person that I really am, would not be who I really am. I would not be the same person. I would not have the, the aggression that I have. I would not. Um, I would let people walk. I just don't feel that I would. I, I just don't think it would work for me. Yeah. Your hair looks funny right now. Does it? Oh, yeah. Hello. You <laughs> seen that? Does it? She had the flip going <laughs> on, man. It was like this. All right. It was it like all pushed back. <laughs> and then you had that one piece that was like, whoop, sticking up like that. I can't even do it with my hair. My hair just sticks up anyway. <laughs> oh, fucking A. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> So, um, let's see. Uh, anybody looking for a job? <coughs> what kind of job? I already have one. I'm not really looking for Subway on, on uh, Little Road in Hudson is hiring. No, I'm not looking for yeah, that job. Must have experience. A Subway sandwich artist. It's a sandwich artiste. Artista. You He's an artista. It. Fancy. So it sounds oh, fancy. You have to say fancy so it sounds fancy. Is that yeah. the way it goes, huh? Um, I guess this chick's like Mrs. Job Guru because it looks like that's all she does is post jobs. If you look on her timeline, it's like now hiring, this one hired, this one's hiring, this one's hiring, this one's hiring, this one's hiring. I bet you she don't have a job herself. Let's see. Probably not. Oh, she's a placement specialist at Career Source in Presco and Hernando. Okay, so that's what she does. That makes sense. That make a lot of sense. I like her. She help a people get a job. Well, you help a people get a job with me. All right then. What else we got, guys? Uh, just fucking around on Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> let's I'm, read I'm, some news. Yeah, <laughs> I guess we should go to some news by now, huh? I haven't All right, looked let's over. See. Let's go. Let's see. click <laughs> local news. All right. Okay. <laughs> Um, what do we got? I haven't even gotten there yet. So, uh, back to the whole fucking, the whole Waco, Texas biker thing. The cops warned the bikers to stay away from Waco. Police concerned groups of armed bikers are headed north Texas, uh, to head off more violence. Um... <sighs> I'd hate to be the bearer of bad news, but my knowledge of biker gangs, mm -hmm. it's not over. Yeah, no doubt. It's going to get worse. What do you got? Anything? No, not really. College sued over forced vaginal exams. Okay. Wow, forced vaginal oh, exams, huh? Like, this I'm going to check your badge out. Yeah, bend over. Oh, sorry. I'm not bend over. Spread them. No, like. <laughs> bend over. I want to go in that way. Fuck, I'm going to be, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this all sorts of wrong. Especially from college? Come on. Fucking stupid. I'm waiting for the audio to come up. I want to see. I wanna, I'm, I'm curious about this one. Especially if they got, you know, images. <laughs> oh, yeah. Florida, no less. Yeah. Valencia College sued over forced vaginal exams. So they got a pervert working there, boy. I'll tell you. Come here, honey. I got to check your vagina. Make sure you're not stealing any erasers from the school. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> After that 
Miss Laura gave us the other day about that shit that bitch had up there. I'd be checking. Oh, yeah, no doubt. A loaf of bread, some eggs. Right. All the eggs. Vaginal ultrasounds were positioned as voluntary. However, as time went on, it became clear that they were anything Got off. The quiet. lawsuit filed Thursday alleges medical diagnostic students underwent vaginal exams by their classmates, including a male student on a weekly basis to learn the procedure. Well, I can only begin to imagine uh, what type of psychological stress this had upon them. Attorney Christopher Dillingham represents the two students who no longer attend the college. They're seeking unspecified damages for pain and suffering, along with tuition reimbursement. He doesn't understand why they were forced to submit to invasive exams of their sexual organs when the college has anatomically correct simulators designed for students to practice on. And the lawsuit states students were given real-world experience practicing the procedure on actual patients at Central Florida hospitals in a medical setting. Dillingham says when his clients complained, they were retaliated against. They were told that they could go to another program or that their <clears throat> grades would be reduced and that they would be blacklisted within the medical community. Uh, In a statement, the college tells us the program is That's the diddle of all diddles. Yeah, that's the ultimate diddle right there. Don't worry. You know, I'm a doctor. It's legal. That's ridiculous. That's why I got four fingers in yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it, sir. I'm just checking your prostate. Sir, that is not my ass. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right, my bad. And, 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 sir, by the way, women don't have prostates. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were your husband. I'm sorry. Hold on one sec as he wiggles it back and forth a few more times. And in other news, <laughs> let's get way away from the vag- vaginal exams because that could the, go the vaginal, south uh-huh. quick. <laughs> of course it could. Deputies investigating robbery shooting of three men in Tampa Hillsboro. Deputies uh, near an apartment complex, blah, blah, blah. So nothing new. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, nothing new. Um, the gyrocopter pilot back into D.C. to face his formal charges of landing on the White House lawn. That guy got big balls. That that would have been pretty cool. Think about it. 20 years ago, he would have been dead. Yeah, they would have shot him out of the fucking sky. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. We're a bunch of punk asses now. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. I don't understand that. You know what's funny about the whole fucking White House situation and when you, you know... Fly around there. You see all those buildings surrounding the White House? Well, they're not all office buildings. Most of them are owned by the CIA and the DEA and the Secret Service. And there's dudes with big, giant guns behind those fucking windows. (laughs) Yeah, no doubt. You know? Yeah, take a fucking pair of binoculars and go walk outside the fucking... The, the White House and start looking at the White House with a pair of binoculars. Let you do that either. It will be just a, a, a few seconds before your ass is thumped by no, some Secret Service. No more tours either. No more tours of the White House? No. Really? Yeah, Too many people getting in there with weapons. Yeah. Oh, no shit. Sure. that's after they're being like... Yeah, super, super, super safe. Wow, that sucks. I wanted to be that one that goes in there and actually gets the fucking tour. I didn't want to be an asshole. I wanted the tour. I want to see the inside of the White House. Um, should have done it when you were younger. I should have, could have, would have, but I didn't. Yeah, no doubt. I was just going to say should have, could have. They wouldn't let me in now if I tried, so it wouldn't matter. They'd be like, uh, Lewis who? No, don't let that. Yeah, no away. doubt. Anywhere near this place. He's a psycho bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know. You know. You know, you just know. Why am I getting these fucking... Well, that's messed up. Yeah, he's riding his bike to work. Somebody shoots him. Pow! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. And in Hillsborough right now, they're looking for four guys, but they found one that they got into the house, and um, they robbed them and shot them. Mm. Still looking for three of them. Not good. Stupid criminal of the day broke into a house, fell asleep on the couch. I think that was an older story, wasn't it? Another one. Ugh, that's even worse. This is br- it just you happened went, last night. That's worse if another guy did it. Dude, don't hey, you I'm watch the tired, news? Didn't yeah. you see the first guy, the idiot that fucking went to jail? Did you see the video I put up babe, on Talk Shit? Yeah. The chick copying it, and then she's looking at the pictures. No, and, I oh, see yeah. that one. I just saw the red thing. No, look Every at, time look we at go that. to court... Every time we go to court, there's mm. got to be at least 20 plus people that have stolen from Walmart. 
And once you steal from Walmart, you can never go to another Walmart again. They've got that, like, super, you know, face recognition. And as soon as you walk into Walmart, you get arrested. So I was saying something about it the other day, and Angie's like, well, how are they going to know if I go to, like, Georgia Walmart? I'm like, they're all yeah, connected. No and he tells you, even if you go in the parking lot, there's cameras that you guys don't see. Don't go back to Walmart. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Yeah. I would. Fuck it. Yeah, I mean, I'm the same way. I would go back. Trespassing or not. You'll have to remind me that, you know. That I, go yeah. shop at Winn-Dixie. Yeah, right. It's cheaper anyway. <laughs> that shit was so funny you know Jim Angel and I went to Winn-Dixie to get whatever and I guess this lady fucking steals all the time because like it's she didn't even make it like maybe from me to Michelle down the aisle and the fucking guy was like dude you gotta get out of here and she was like I'm just trying to shop you know what I'm saying he was really? like not in this Winn-Dixie or not he was like you got to go and she was like but I didn't even do anything and he was like you know why you know why <laughs> you know it's bad when the fucking manager comes up to you and says you know why you're not allowed here yeah no doubt. You know you're a degenerate when you're not allowed to shop at fucking Walmart before you even start shopping. No doubt. <laughs> you, get out. Not allowed here. That's horrible. Fucking horrible, I must say. It's fucking horrible. All right, we've got some events going on here. Let's see. We got DRVN. Uh, clinch, fa- clinch Fist. I don't know what that is. At the Zone Lounge, Saturday, oh, uh, May 30th. What? Clinch Fist is totally playing with my buddy Frankie's band. When? Next month on the 27th. Well, May 30th, apparently. <laughs> We've got something going on here. Let's see. DV- DRVN. I don't know what that is. Um, Might be another band. Yeah, the Zone Lounge in Tarpon Springs, invited by the live bands. It's a B Day Bash. Yeah, Clinch Fish, Shalou, Jay's B Day Bash. Okay, so somebody's birthday. Um, um, Yeah. I don't know if I'll be going or not. I don't know. I'm not too sure if I'm down for all that kind of stuff. Then we got um, Yvonne's got two. Birthday parties thingies going for the same day for her daughter. So, Yvonne, you might want to fix that. You got two of these events created here. Huh? Husbands are the best people to share secrets with. Um, they'll never tell anyone because they're not even listening. It's true. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had to do that. Yup, you know. I just confirmed uh, Paulie B as a friend. So I only took all fucking morning. <laughs> well, it was a process, dude. Yeah, well, I mean, I couldn't find him, first of all. He plays a lot of games. Look, Paulie, don't fucking send me all of these requests for these games, please. It's, <laughs> it's like, just, no, no, not me. Yeah, that'll be, the fir- that'll be the one reason you'll get deleted off my shit. If I start getting a bunch of these fucking requests for all of these games that you play, no, 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 no. I play one game. It's Candy Crush Soda, and it's because my fucking wife got me addicted to it. It's a good game. It's all right. It's all right. Henry the Hitman is fucking addicted. It's like heroin <coughs> to him. He got, he's if he's right now, he's probably sitting on the shit or candy crushing. Yeah. <laughs> Going boop boop boop. And then he'll come over here and go, "I can't beat this, Michelle. Beat it." We give it to her five fucking moves, and she beats it. Three days, I'm on this one board. I said, "Babe." Come over here and fix this. Gone. Done. I'm like, you motherfucker, how do you do that? And then, yeah. like, I'll get a high score, like 43,000, <laughs> and then it shows you, like, what other people got. She's getting high scores of 143,000 yeah, on the doubt. same fucking board. Cheater. I am not a cheater. Cheater. <laughs> Bicyclist shot Monday night in Tampa. I just... Did I just say that? Yes, you did. I'm just reading over it. I, I'm, I was I'm, like, I'm losing my mind. No, I'm A 10-year-old d- drowns in a pool on a cruise ship. Drowns in a pool on a cruise ship. Where was the lifeguard? And what cruise was it? Norwegian Cruise Line. Uh-oh. Off of the Carolinas. That's a big money cruise line. That's a good lawsuit right there. Yep, <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Because uh, they let you your kids yeah, you, wander. Yeah. You know, you, it's not like whatever. Unsupervised. That's, um, you know, you can't sue if your kid falls in the pool. 
and and partially drowns, comes out brain dead, you really ain't got ain't got that good of a lawsuit. You know why? Why? Kid's still alive. Yeah. You got a better lawsuit if the kid dies. Isn't that fucking pathetic? It is. We've had lawyers tell us because we had almost a pharmacist overdose our daughter. Say, did she die? No. Well, then we can't help you. I was ready to oh, kill that terrible. motherfucker right then and there. I was ready to choke him and say, well, you're going to need help now, motherfucker, because I'm about to kill you. If we were in his office, I would have reached across the desk and choked him out. Yeah. They will not elaborate on what happened, but they will admit that she is dead. That's fucked up. Yikes. Yeah, it's fucked up. Of course, they're not going to elaborate what happened. Incriminate uh, themselves. Yep. Humid and more showers today. Uh, morning clouds in Madeira Beach didn't slow down. Um, oh, shit. Well, apparently today, rain chances will be slightly higher than yesterday. Um, fuck, I am so tired, dude. Why am I yawning like this? <laughs> Wow. Mm, corn leading to Bay News 9. Tuesday will feature partly sunny skies and rain chances about 30%, which is kind of low. That doesn't mean it's going to rain. Uh, let's see what we got in Hernando. Anything good? Anybody look? I'm looking. No, at nothing good. Some guy was shot, but I don't know if that was Hernando because there was nothing good in the Hernando page. It was like old news we already talked about. They just cut next door and across the street. Who? They like to cut. Maybe it's them. They the like ditch. to cut. Oh, yeah, let me check. Because she just cut and laid grass and here in Florida. So here in Spring Hill, Austin Goodnear, while in juvenile detention, was shot and killed by Florida police Sunday. After authorities said... He argued with four people named St. Pete Pool, shot a man on the bike in the arm, and then shot a... And that's where it stopped. Hello? Yeah, right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The suspect shot at the officers and they returned fire. Uh, he's been given... Uh, He's involuntarily committed twice since 2011. Yeah, they're cutting next door. Why is it so quiet? In the, I, I'm talking. What, the ditch business. they're cutting? Is it the ditch or next door? Yeah, they're cutting the ditch. They're going to be in for a moment. I'm surprised when they see what's down there. Yikes, what's down there? There's a lot of big things down there that'll go wham to that blade. Yeah, bricks and shit. Mm-hmm. They better not run over my flower. They're all gone. They already did. Every single one of them. They already just mowed them down. Every fucking time. Pisses me off. I try to make that little ditch right there look a little better and put flowers right. in it. They just come and fucking mow it down. I would put a fence So this 18-year-old turned around and looked at the cops and said, go ahead and kill me. And Where the was officer this? shot him. Uh, of course, here in St. Pete. Okay. He was in a detention center and he got into a fight with four people about their sexual orientation. And he shot at them, they shot at him, and he told the cops, go ahead and kill me, and they did. He died at the hospital. I fucking asked for it. So, you know. Did you guys hear about the shooting that went on? Um, when was it? Um, Yesterday? Thursday. According to Hernando County Sheriff's, um, Amori Isabel Calatre has been arrested in connection with the shooting that happened Thursday. Deputies responded to a uh, shooting Thursday on 4704 Crescent Road and found Edward Padilla, who reported being shot in the back of the neck. Moments later, deputies also received a call about a disturbance at a separate location at 9630 North Cliff Boulevard. De deputies quickly determined the calls were related. Investigation revealed that Padilla, who was driving black vehicle, provided a ride to a man who was going to sell the vehicle to Calatre. Oh, wow, man. That's fucked up. Fucking people getting shot here in Spring Hill and shit. Yeah. That is fucked up. It is fucked up. Yep. I don't hear those long boys going. <laughs> That only means one thing. They okay. found the bricks. <laughs> <laughs> and I just said the other day, they need to cut it. 
I can't tell you how many times I've called up and told them they need to clean it before they cut it. Uh, Pauly B says he won't send you any friend requests. Yeah. Any friend requests? I mean, any game requests. Game requests. requests. Yeah, yeah don't, don't do that, dude. I hate that shit. I got fucking people. I finally just started blocking all of them games. Every time somebody oh, sends me one, me. I block them. Yeah. yeah. I, I used to play a lot of, what was it, babe? What did we play? Pot Farm? Oh, yeah. yeah. And Farmville. Farmville. Yeah, I used to play yeah. Farmville. Like, yeah. And then we, and then then we, started, a group, like, we started a group called Farmville's Anonymous. <laughs> Uh-huh. You needed it after that fucking thing, man. I know, because I remember being like, oh, I just have to check my phone. Oh, my God. Oh, I just got to do this. Oh, just, oh, 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 yeah. oh, my God. That fucking thing. And I thing. do mean everybody. Everyone. Oh, my God. So I read this thing yesterday that I'm sure I'm not going to be able to find today, but okay. it says that the Kardashian slash Jenner family, you know, they're all like selfie fucking. Mm-hmm. So apparently there's some new surgery where they're going to extract blood from them and then like shoot it in their face to be some kind of like yeah <laughs> i love your face that was so funny she like popped and looked at me like what the fuck yeah, yeah it's called like the vampire lift or something yep. like that like oh. can you fucking imagine like I'm, like they they don't i didn't think they injected it i thought they just yeah. Uh, yeah, either, either I, way. I, yeah, either way is definitely gross. I don't. Yeah. I think I would rather almost have it injected than like rubbed on my face. I don't. Mm. <laughs> I don't know which one is easy, better. Like, easy. Yeah, like, I'd be, <laughs> like I'd be scared. How what do you I know? Say and tell it to him. That could get is. nasty. <laughs> 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 but then you said easy. Yeah, easy. <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> waiting for you to jump in and take over. It's your wife, bro. Come on, I can't say shit like that to your wife. <laughs> He's not only my own, like only my own, and I, you know, if I say shit like that, I just gotta make sure she got nothing. And no doubt, punched in the face. Yeah, right? no, I, it's not <laughs> I'm saving that. Trust me. Fucking throwing One shit. One of these days, punch yeah, right? to the moon, <laughs> Louie. <Louis. laughs> Thanks a lot. I used to <laughs> say that. <laughs> What the fuck was My that? girlfriend's dead, you know. She it's fell it. off a slant. Oh, I was like, what the fuck is that? Um, you know, I keep seeing this story. I didn't hear about these two dudes that fucking killed the other guy at Calendar Girls on 19. Did you hear about that? You did what happened no. on Calendar Girls? What was, what was it? Um, I know them. You do know them. Yeah. All right, so Marco Anthony Barnett, 32 of Holiday, is charged with first-degree murder. And Look. Conrad Those C. Cunningham, 28 of Tarpon Springs. Buddies is charged with accessory to murder. Um, Bennett is being held in a Lando Lakes detention center. Investigators they say... Uh, no, uh, there was uh, no, listen, a guy in the parking lot. Uh, the real story. One of the dancers that was there was mm-hmm. dating some other dude, okay? Mm-hmm. And some shit went down, and bitch cheated on her dude. Nigga went to the fucking strip club, seeing her there, <gasps> seeing the new dude. New dude got pissed. They you hear the ghetto work, come out, right? I know, I love it. Blooded. Which one? Uh, was it the, the victim, uh, Pierre Pickett? Yeah. Okay, yeah. He was 24 years old? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, mad people. That mad people. Nice guy, guy or? Yeah, he, he was died, didn't he? Guy. Yeah, he died. They yeah, he shot him die. five times. Yikes, dude. Like, wow. Striking and killing him, yeah. Cold-blooded, like, nigga uh, Barrett. It was actually I Barrett. I wish everyone could see what a pretty little white girl with blue eyes Alicia is. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't look like she does. Pretty little white girl, blue eyes. Like, yeah, you wouldn't know you from to listening to her. Like. On, baby. You have to put them headphones on. I was getting up. Okay. Because... Um, yeah, that, that's it. Wasn't just one fucking shot. Apparently, yeah, it was five. multiple shots. That's bad. Yeah, yeah. Now, do you know the shooters or no? Um. Yeah, I do. You know of them, just don't know them. But I'm there. not friends with them right. and any type of affiliation with them at all. Oh, thank you, baby. It's cold. Um, but yeah, it's sad. I know. Mad that's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have two coffee Huge cups? Like, what the fuck? To mad people out here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus two Christ! Cups man. Man. It's a regular cup. <laughs> All right. Wow. 24 years old, got into an argument over some dumb shit. Now that's another reason why. Over a stripper. Like, no offense to that stripper, but, like, damn. I I thought he'd up. It probably wasn't worth it. That was his girl. Yeah, well, the pussy must have been golden. She did him dirty. 
That's because she was probably dirty. She, and she was a stripper. stripper. And <laughs> not only that is drug related to. Oh, of course it is. In my experience, <laughs> in my experience, anybody it's, who's ever dated a stripper, okay, was on drugs. Will tell you that it is the worst type of chick to date because they're all whores anyway. Yeah, They'll fuck the for money. The they, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, you could take the hoe out the neighborhood, but you can't take, take the, the neighborhood, neighborhood out the hoe. No <laughs> doubt, dude. Um, yeah, anybody that I've ever talked to that's dated a stripper will tell you, yeah, they're just it's a fucking nightmare, dude. No matter what, ten years even after they're not stripping anymore, there's still the fucking same drama, bullshit. Uh, I don't know what it is. Yo, yeah. but yeah. mad people were hurt out here. That nigga was. Family to a lot of people. He was a really good guy. Like, Wasn't he? Yeah. It was. Yeah, it's sucks. really unfortunate that. I don't like to see shit like that. Don't get me wrong, but you know, I mean, when two fucking idiots, I, I, you get it over. I, if somebody came up to me and said, "Yo, that's my girl," I'd be like, "Take the bitch. Get the fuck out of here." I don't. Right. And that fucking count. You're gonna pull a gun on me over some bimbo? Later, I know, dude. right? Was she pretty, Alicia? Do you know what the girl looked like? Um, I mean, I count a girl. She couldn't have been that good looking. No, I actually like, count the girls as actually the prettier the girls prettier of them, of, them, of the stripper yeah, clubs around here. Not worth, not worth killing over. Oh, yeah, that's right, because count of girls is the purple one, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking is lollipops on the right. the pizza place. Okay, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I had them backwards in in my mind. Lollipops. Yeah, Where's lollipops? Ginormous. Lollipops is the name? one like, that's like near that pizza place. Yeah, it's before. That's on the right hand side. Before count of girls. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Which what is another name? fucking skank. Nadine with the big ass titties, yo. Cool, yo. Yeah, oh, you know is. her too? Oh, yeah. She is the shit. The bar like, Yeah. She oh, she she was was long long long. Yeah, I don't think there was any fucking triple sex. She fucking, fucking was, was like, listen, dude. Yeah. She was and like, I can't give. To chase my triple. My yeah. She said, I cannot give free drink she was like but damn i got a heavy hand and i was like cool so we went joe mcfadden you remember which yeah. one that is right like uh me jim uh mike d the one that's like married with four yeah. little girls now yeah, or whatever yeah. like all of us and i was like yeah let's go to the titty club whatever. we should do like, it again one night when she's working there we had so much fucking fun dude oh my god i never barfed so much in my entire life oh, it was so bad man. it was one of those days that i didn't even make it in the house like I as remember, soon as i opened the door i'm like barfing on the front lawn <laughs> i remember a few times in calendar girl not calendar girls lollipops uh, going in the bathroom puking my guts out washing my face coming back out sitting down beer please yo god that was the night of my first lap dance that was dope really? yeah uh-huh yeah she so said, i had said, no she idea she was, <laughs> like, was it right there or did you go in the no, private she was supposed to go no in the, in the private room. how the, the fuck like, am i supposed to know i never so had one floor goes up to the main stage <laughs> she's like come here baby let me give she's you a like, dance no, i was like here. cool i thought she was gonna climb on the pole and like work it you know what i mean so i'm sitting there and she's like no baby she's like come back here you know what i'm like oh okay where are we going you know and i'm a girl so i'm like smacking ass and grabbing boob you know and i was and i was like that's what the She's waiting for me to pay her. And I'm like, did you think I was going to pay you for that? I'm like, I got my own tits, my own fucking, like, yeah. I will have one of my girlfriends do that shit for free. Like I'm not I could have went and stood in the mirror and done it to myself for nothing, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, you want me to pay <laughs> for it. Like, I thought you were going to pay me for no smacking it. Right? That's <laughs> actually a good philosophy. You didn't think I was going to pay you for that, did you? Oh, my God. Go like, really? Like, I, my yeah, wife. I have my own boobs, dude. Like. <laughs> Upset, oh, man. fucking girl I don't pay for that shit I like, really <laughs> fuck him up we should all go to the titty bar one time and be like yeah that's my brother that's my sister no, why would I want to play with your boobs when I can play with her she lets me do it all the time <laughs> they'd be like what the fuck dude what <laughs> kind of family that hell we even let Jim play with her boobs I mean come on they be all fucked up man they'd be like yeah. you guys gotta go please. these are some <laughs> fucked up motherfuckers right here <laughs> they like yeah let's go yeah well at least she ain't dating your daughters <gasps> Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> what, so we're talking. Did you do uh, No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <the city club. laughs> Holy shit. Babe, there's some things yeah, you didn't tell me about. Oh, you knew. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah, Michelle, I, I told you I invited Shame. Deb to the male review with us, right? Like, yeah. you know like what it's going to be so uh, much fun. You know the strip club, the Brass Flamingo? Yeah, yeah that's... Okay, well, my Tiffany's boy... Right there. Yeah, that's a shit. Well, he's not really my boy. He was, but mm -hmm. he, started, He's not no more. he started some shit with me, so I can't really fuck with him. But right. he was down there. I'll and tell you a story about the brass flamingo, God. <laughs> and he ran up on some dude sitting in his truck, like went to go rob him. And he put his little gun in between. I think fired off five, six shots into the truck. Shot him like three times, okay? Dude... 
a bystander seeing what was going on went over and ran up with a shovel dude got out the truck took the shovel from the bystander beat the fuck out of bro like put oh. him in a hospital and a coma and mm -hmm. everything if you didn't come let me ask you something alicia if let's say just any girl that you were in a fight with come running up to you with a crowbar and went, I'm going to hit you and didn't hit you. Would you not beat the fucking shit out yeah, of the no, truth? <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen to me. That's if like pulling a gun on up, somebody saying, I'm going to shoot you. Like, don't even get and then me standing, standing there, there with it. Here comes the hood rat. Yeah, no. if someone's <laughs> running up on me with something, I'm going to kick your fucking knees yeah. out before you get a chance to even hit uh, me with that that's shit. That's like no pulling a gun like on me and not... I'm a slide me. and I'm gonna fuck you know? your legs up and I'm gonna take that shit and I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> <laughs> I played play baseball, I played like girl softball, I know how to fucking brass. slide. But you, you say brass flamingo. The last time I went there was with Henry the Hitman. We stopped at Lollipops first. And by the time <laughs> it, by the time I got to Brass Flamingo, okay, I was pretty I, fucking I drunk. So then we sit down and we're drinking, and I'm talking to this girl who is actually dating her father. And um, all of a sudden, yes, all of a sudden I feel puke-esque. Yeah, I would too. I'm like, no, it wasn't because of her. Um, I mean, we were having a good conversation, actually. it was She didn't want to be there. She was. She asked me, "Do you mind if I just come sit over here? I don't feel like dancing with anybody tonight. Can I just come sit here and look busy?" I'm like, "I don't give a shit." Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I, I'm, "Act I'm, like you're talking to me." Yeah, that's basically <laughs> what it was. You know, we we had a good conversation, but then I figured out who she was. But anyway, that's all another story. So then I'm just. Yeah. I lean over to her. I'm like, I'll, "I'll be right back." She goes, "You don't look too good." I was like, "Yeah, I drank too much. I'll be right back." <laughs> so I go out to the fucking car. I sit on the car and I can't fucking vomit and I want to because I know it's going to make oh, me feel better. It's sick for so the light bulb comes on. Oh no, cigarette. Oh, yeah. Light a cigarette and just start hammering on it, puffing on it, puffing I on it. I would not do that. Oh, yeah, it yeah, worked. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not scared to stick my fingers down my throat. Sometimes no, I, I know I, when I, I got to yeah. puke. I'm like, oh, no, it's fine. I, <laughs> I, 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 fingers, yeah. I can't. Puke, it doesn't work. I don't have a gag reflex. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When I'm drunk, dude, I'm like, oh, man, I got to I don't have a gag reflex, so it doesn't work. That doesn't work. Yeah, I've tried. It's like... Yeah, that's terrible. I feel like I, I am a professional few people. Girl, like. yeah, I, I, know, I, was no gonna, I was like, no, I was going to be like, oh, I thought you had good cocks on that. And then I was I'm like, no, no, that's mean. I'm, I'm not so going to say. <laughs> I say it every time, dude. Every yeah, time. She, just, yeah, every I was thinking it. it and then I was like, no, oh, what she says every rude, time like, is be careful saying that around certain company. Yes. what she says. No doubt. Yeah, don't admit that. It's a good thing I didn't say it when we are at Joe Exotics because they all would have jumped around with their peckers hanging out going, yeah. <laughs> fucking bunch of homos. Anyway, uh, I don't give a shit. I, I still, yeah, news. I still. Travis was the funniest fucking gay man I ever met in my life, and I, I tell you what, if Joe and Travis called me tomorrow and said we're coming to Florida to hang out, I'd be like, come on, dude, because this is gonna be the funnest shit. I would take them to every titty bar there is. Uh, just because they're gay, it would be the fucking funnest thing you could imagine in your life. Well, there's two different kinds of gay dudes I found in my, you know, gay yeah, dude experience. Yeah, but he's a dirty gay, gay dude. Yeah. And there's the ones that like boobs, yeah. and well, there's the ones that don't like no, boobs. Joe, you know I what think, I mean? Like, I think Joe and Travis are both ones that would play with boobies. They wouldn't Travis. mind. Travis yeah, like, would, yeah. Um, Joe, I no think problem. Joe would have fun he with it. He would say she got a nice rat, but yeah. to play with them, no. It would be hilarious. God, that would yeah, be like, so much Todd, totally well, cool. If I have to walk up and be like, no, 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 totally that, different no, one. That totally, different yeah, that's Henry the Hitman. That's you met like, him. Yeah, he just fucking shoves his fingers, fingers up their <laughs> ass. And his philosophy. I got it just now. Listen, his philosophy is if they stay, they're good. If they run away, they weren't worth it to begin with. That's so yeah. wrong. I just think so it would be right. fucking just hilarious. Just my thumb in your ass. Right, it's a test. Does he like it first? that? Or. I asked him too. Like, I was like, I told him, I said, Joe, you're only listen, gonna do you know, that the first one. You ain't gonna double. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, I like, would carry me a little fucking squeeze tube of Vaseline. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> What's this? That's a pocket of it, but. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I want to send some love out to Renee and her son. They're at all children's because the medication is not working. Uh, uh, well, Renee Petro. Prayers yeah. for Renee's son. Oh, sure. mm. Yeah, that would be an interesting trip. You know what would be even more interesting, babe? babe? You bring Henry the Hitman, Joe Exotic, and Travis to the titty bar all at once. So now you have two homosexuals and the biggest fucking. 
I don't know what you would call Joe. <laughs> Just a womanizer that there is. It would be great. It would be great. You know what's fucked oh up? Oh, my God, no. That's no, you know what's oh really God. fucked up? What's really fucked up is I guarantee that Joe Exotic and Travis would have more ass than any Anybody one of that? us mm-hmm. in the fucking titty bar. Yeah, that's the really fucked up part about it. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. No, oh, I'm telling you, dude. Anytime I've ever hung out Are with Are you saying, boy, I got a better chance? Listen. <laughs> yes, probably, um, yeah. Anytime I've ever gone to the titty bar with chicks, that's when the excitement happens. Even when you go, you don't even flirt with them and they fucking flock all over you. Flockers. They do. And she I don't even talk to me. them. Come sit I went by to Oz. I went to Oz, which is in Clearwater. Oh, Yeah. Yeah. They got some nice girls in there. Yeah. I took, we went down to, um, we went down to, what was Scores? We went to Scores in Tampa. I don't know what the big deal is about Scores in Tampa. I, I really don't. Because when we were at 20 Scores, bucks to get in. Yeah. And some of the chicks were so butt fucking ugly that I wouldn't have fucked them with Harley's dick and Jim pushing. Nice. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, they were that ugly. I mean, I wouldn't let my dog have sex with him. I'd be afraid he'd catch something. Uh-huh. I said, me and ugly don't go in the same sentence. Yeah, I know, no, I know. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What else have we got in the news here? Oh, let's so, go. don't keep calm. Be all crazy, bitch, like you want to be. They're going to say it, yeah. you are anyway. Oh, Beth, I'm telling you, crazy. I want to get that inked on me. On you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and get my boy Maurizio in here. Um, he's you know just this much Italian. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maurizio. Yeah, no with that name. With a, with a, with his cousin Tulio. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not Italian. Though. Not at all. Um, I'm gonna try and get him in here. He's a fucking character, man. It should be hilarious with his ass in here. That's for sure. Uh, he's one of the ones that him and I went and cleaned up Hurricane Katrina. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. God, what a fiasco we had. The things we did to the people that were with us. The one kid text, man. We beat him up every night cause, yeah. just because we were drunk. We threw his trailer in the fucking ravine. Nice. Dude. Oh yeah, there's gators in there big enough to fucking just grab you, Jim, and swim away with you like you were a tadpole. And we're just so drunk and obnoxious. We're just picking <laughs> the trailer up and rolling it in. Yeah, twice a week we're pulling it out and airing it out and drying it out. Oh yeah, the thing. We we finally just left it there. We took the fucking uh, the bobcat. And just crunched it and left it where we sat. Yeah. Every they didn't even make it all the way up the hill where my flowers are. Huh? They didn't make it all the way up the hill. They the, didn't? Mm-mm. They can't. No, I see him. And then he rolls back. So he left the whole fucking strip of shit. There's a strip, a... yeah. Are you kidding me? We got to, got to, got to fix that weed whacker today. Um, I need a part for it. I need um, my my trusty sidekick Timmy. Um, fucked it up on me. I don't think he did it on purpose, but you know the little ring that the string goes through on the head, the metal part. It's <laughs> Whoa, dude, that sounded really fucked up. <laughs> my little friend Timmy you and the got, ring that goes nice around the part. And then he gave the little devastating. I know. Right? Right? Yeah, we're the ones getting yelled at. Like, I honestly, I was reading this thing on pot, so I missed like the first few words of that Looks sentence, and, and then yeah. Like that. <laughs> well, Laura's head's always on the fucking shit. Yeah, not Laura, not, not my me. sister Laura. <laughs> yeah, not me. Uh, uh, wow, my Facebook is going crazy with friend requests this morning. Fucking all sorts of shit, man. Everybody wants to be my friend. You people are mistaken. You don't want to be my friend. Trust me. I'm not a good friend. <laughs> I'm not a good friend. I'm not a very good friend. I'm going to be honest with you. You want references? I'll give you a few. They'll tell you. <laughs> Damn. Just so everyone knows, I might be the only one that will give you a good reference. Well, and Jim. I'd be like, oh, because we're not friends, right? Trust me, they're lying their fucking asses (laughs) off, too, just to be nice. (laughs) Jim's like... Oh, so I let your daughter use my nose spray this morning, Michelle? Oh, boy. She told me. She's all hyped up now, huh? No, not at all. It's like not, not because she was like, oh, man, these pills. Oh, it's not that kind of nose spray, man. I was like, here, if you don't want to take pills and if you're not scared of nose spray, then fucking use this. Like, yo, I love that shit. It's my favorite. What is it? It's just like like, eucalyptus, like like a nose spray. I'm putting eucalyptus on my nose. Menthol. What's that shit that like? 
You know, it's like Vicks. Yeah, no. For your nose. Yeah, I don't But it's not like so. squirting Vicks up your nose. It's, yeah. You know. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, for real. That's always what I said, too, until I yeah, couldn't I breathe. And I kept seeing this commercial, and I was like, oh, breathe in 30 seconds. And I was yeah, like, damn, I really want to breathe. I do like breathing. <laughs> you know, like, and for real, within 30 seconds, I was able to breathe again. I was I like, I breathe. I just got to blow my nose. nose like, I just got to be careful blowing my nose, because when you have a nose this big, you tend to fuck shit up in the room. Yo, yeah, right. <laughs> like, yo, you don't understand because you don't have allergy problems, dude. No, like, I, I, I don't. Yeah, I so I, no I'm idea. telling you, sometimes you need the nose spray, man. Yeah. Like, it's like, motherfucker, I wish like, I had allergies. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, her, it's terrible. Her like, ex, Alicia's ex, I mean, he was so fucking allergic, and not was, but he's so fucking allergic to the cats that mm. he'll walk in the door and yeah, say, hey, boy. guys, how you doing? Walk back out, and he's like... Uh, yeah, for <laughs> real, that's what happens, man. Your daughter's the same way. Uh-huh. The minute she fucking touches one of my cats, man, it's all good. Yep. So, Jim, I found the story why Obama's new equipment ban does nothing to demilitarize the police says local police agencies will no longer be able to acquire grenade launchers, bayonets, or weaponized vehicles and obtain riot gear, MRAPs, and other military-style equipment. Uh, We'll be limited to those who can prove they need it and know how to use it and when. Um, So basically, they're they're what, like Jim said, he he's going to try and put a stop to militarizing our police force. The MRAPs, the uh, that's a um, well, that's them fucking microwave uh, um, something something something. It's the microwave weapons. It's just like an LRAD. It's a something something. Yeah, it's a long yeah. range acoustical Hello, device. Son, son. Yeah, this is a, a microwave range acoustical something something. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, um, yeah, they're not going to be able to get all of that shit, which is, you know what? What about the ones and, and the fucking police forces that already have it? Like Hernando County Police Force. They don't need a tank. Take it from them. Put it someplace where it belongs. Um, they don't need... Ass. Yeah. <laughs> drive it right through fucking Sheriff Al Nines' front fucking <coughs> door. Um, Laura. Yes. I don't know. That's what shooting the shit with Paulie said. Oh. Uh. I'm telling you the truth. I did date one. Day strippers. Oh, oh, strippers, yes. Oh, strippers. I'm in love with a stripper. I fucking love that song. I hate that song. You want to be a stripper? No, I don't want to be a stripper. It's just, you know, well, it's not it a song. She means something. <laughs> <laughs> and she's my one in the See, Alicia's jamming with me. <laughs> so, here's something really, really, really cool. And I've got audio on it, so we're going to check this out. And this is, is this is really good. Uh-huh. Cool. It's not strippers, but it's almost as good because if you give this to strippers, you get what you want. <laughs> it's roofies. No. <laughs> okay, somebody say something. I don't know. Oh, I thought you were playing something. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to talk. They are talking. I know, but they're selling ecstasy. That's how you sell it. Okay. So we just opened okay. uh, the world's first ecstasy shop just behind me uh, to raise awareness for the issue of uh, ecstasy use in Oregon. Oregon. Is it Oregon? No, Amsterdam. Who have used ecstasy on a monthly basis? Is it Oregon? So that's that's quite. They a legalize Molly. And they all buy We're it there. in black market. Yeah. They buy it from no. e street dealers. Like, and you have no I idea. Really what care I want to go to Amsterdam. Ecstasy is legal. Do you know how many fucked up horny bitches are going to be walking around the streets? Man, you know how yeah, many but, of them you have know, diseases? No doubt. Body you know how many ha- of them already have diseases? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, they don't have enough body condoms. So it really no matter at this point. You already have penis far off when you put it in. That's the kind of girl you wake up the next morning and your dick is tapping you on the shoulder going, dude, you should not have done that. <laughs> Sitting on the side. Right. Why did you do on this? On the bedpost like, going, bro, what is I'm wrong leaving. with you, I'm man? <laughs> leaving. Right? Find another dick. <laughs> Find <laughs> another one. Go this get one's not yours dick anymore. Because I'm gone. <laughs> oh, that's oh, shit. <laughs> you done fucked up, buddy. You done fucked up. Yeah, you look, put me where? I fucking yeah. fell off last night, dude. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> no doubt, dude. You know what it took for well, me to I climb up and table. sit here? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, I got no arms. My balls are dragging me. <laughs> I was sleeping. Woke right. up, you put me in there. 
put me in like a, a snake. dark, lumpy place with things all over it. It was Gross. smelly and God, what's wrong with you? It's smelly and bumpy. <laughs> right, <It's> <laughs> smelly gross. and bumpy. Wasn't hungry, but I had some cauliflower before I left. Gross, dude. <laughs> cauliflower and guacamole dip. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> All right, so NYPD is worried about ISIS. 400 new, 450 new cops brought in. Um, apparently, uh, New York Police Chief Bill Brannon is concerned about the threats ISIS pose to the New York uh, area and has assigned 450 extra New York Police Department cops to fight terrorism that may uh, originate from the Islamic State. Um, that's pretty fucking scary now, you know. You got cops fucking adding, you know, they're adding more cops in New York City just to just to fight this shit. Who the hell knows what's going to happen here soon? Okay, All right, so what else have we got here? We got Columbia, 61 dead in massive landslide. Mm. Ain't called um, a dog. Yeah. Yeah. World's first ecstasy, ecstasy shop ecstasy. opens in ecstasy ecstasy shop. Shop. Uh-huh. opens in Amsterdam one day after it's legal. Thousands protest government rally in support. Prince Philip, former aide, accused of child sex abuse. Hmm. ISIS hackers threaten electronic warfare with U.S. and Europe. Uh, Comet wiped out an advanced civilization 13,000 years ago, author claims. Oh. Okay. Well, that sucks. Um, this one this one's pretty interesting. Um Sixty school kids recount witnessing non-humans. Whoa! Non-humans, huh? Is that that Robert handjob I was talking about? <laughs> Sixty yeah, school yep. kids recount witnessing non-humans emerging from UFO. Wow! Whatever they're putting in the lunch in that school. Blee blue blee blar blar. <laughs> right? I want some of what's in the lunch over there. We got audio. Let's see what this is. It's in Zimbabwe, so who the fuck knows? Zimbabwe. These kids could be on all sorts of drugs anyway. There's no audio. In September 1994, over 60 children from this school in the suburbs of Harare, Zimbabwe... Harare. (laughs) ...several objects... Harare up! ...beings coming out. You're gonna be right! Just over two months later... Recovery! ...he came to the scene to work with the children, their parents, and the teachers still suffering from shock. John, who essentially specialized in child psychiatry, devoted a great deal of time to interviewing the children. Something scared you, is that right? What are those? Yeah, there's something wrong with those here. What noise? Yeah, there's something wrong with those. Um, I don't want to hear about the the, the aliens, I'm sorry. So, I'll post that on Facebook. Anybody else wants to hear about it, you can go to Facebook and check out the aliens. I'm not too interested in the aliens. Sorry, guys. No, no doubt. You guys know the movie. Uh, what movie is that from now, babe? Uh, bu- 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 when he when he lives in the swamp. Happy Adam, Gilmore. Ha- not Happy Gilmore. No, um, the other one where he plays football, the foosball. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That woman's the devil, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a uh, water boy. Boucher, water yeah. boy. Yeah. The the one coach. He's a like, yeah, uh-huh. Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's mine and Michelle's biggest thing. At the end of the game, he's standing there like this with the touchdown. Tweaking <laughs> fucking thing. I love that movie. Oh, shit. Captain Insano. <laughs> yeah, mama said, mama said. Mama said. Yo, mama. <laughs> I'm sorry, Colonel Sandal. What'd you Sandal. say about my yeah. mama? <laughs> Colonel <laughs> Sandal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We are pathetic. Do you know that? <laughs> not pathetic. Just, we're amazing. We're amazing. That's what amazing. That is not exactly the word I would use. It's the exact word I would use. <laughs> uh, wow. Rah. It's incredible what makeup can do to some chicks. Um, without makeup, then most chicks would be uh, pretty fugly looking. Yeah. Oh man. I know, right? Look, that's a pretty different. Yeah, no doubt. Like, she does. Oh my god! Holy act. Where let me see. Uh, I actually clicked on it because it says adult film stars that. Oh yeah. 
It like takes all the vitamins and all that shit out of your face. Yeah. Oh yeah. Some there's, of them are, um, it's a significant. Some of them you're like, oh, I can see a little bit of a difference, but like, like when I wear makeup, you can't tell that much. Like. I met a few of them that with the makeup off, they're just fucking scary as hell. I mean, scary. And then there's a few of them that are just naturally beautiful, but you know they're not the fucking they're not you know that active in the porn industry anymore. Yeah, no doubt. It does a number on you, kids? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. It definitely does a number. All right, so let's get back to this news here. Let's see where were we? Uh, aliens? We don't care about the aliens. Uh, that one what was that one? NYPD. We know about that. Okay, you're probably pooping wrong. This says okay. Uh, how do you, how do you no doubt? No, what's the you're right way? Supposed like, to lift, like, like tippy what? toes. You, you, you guys have, what? You, you guys never heard of the squatty potty? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, know. I think you told me about the squatty mm-hmm. potty. As a matter of fact, it's like that stool thing, it's right? It's a like, stool that goes in front of the the toilet that actually lifts your legs higher up. Your knees, when you <laughs> shit, you should actually your knees oh, should be up like this. So you can like push it, it when the Japanese. You ever see a Japanese bathroom? There are no toilets. Say, I ever see a Japanese it's a hole, guy shit, the like, it's no. a hole in the floor that they squat down over because that is actually the proper way to relieve your bowels. It's the only way to get a um, a good one. Yeah, you know, a true shit. It'll empty you out really You're good. Supposed to sit up straight and put your tippy toes like up on your tippy toes. So it gives it a straight line. So, all right, I'm going to go on and read this. It's not very long, so. I can shit the fetal position. When it's coming out, it's coming out. Yeah, yeah, no (laughs) doubt, dude. When you got to go, you got to go right. That's the correct way to shit. No bullshit. Mm, All right. Yep. That kind of looks like comfortable. It, if you're going to yeah, be there for a while, the only thing that guy is missing is his phone like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, enough said, right? Um, basically, yeah, you're supposed to have your feet up, Alicia. Uh, you can't really see this, but his feet are up off the floor by about that much on a stool. And it just puts your legs in a position. It's just That's like you're point. squatting, yeah. I so, go from a state where they have short toilet seats. <laughs> yeah, right. We're tall. Crazy. Now in yeah. Florida, we have tall toilets. Like yeah. Well, small this small isn't small nothing. Small. This isn't nothing that we didn't know about. But um, like apparently, the they're just feet. now, you know, making a big deal about it. Is really what it yeah, is. Like so it goes on and it says a new book suggests that most people don't poo properly when sitting on the toilet. Uh, Charming Bowels by. Oh, no. Gal- That's the name of the move. The book. Charming Bowels. That's charming, don't you think? <laughs> Why don't you just name it such a pretty little shit? Anyway. What a lovely dude. Like. Right? Yeah, we've probably taken already. Such a good looking turd. Um, <laughs> they suggest that people don't open the hatch completely due to the. P- <laughs> I can't even read on after that one. Due to the way they sit on the toilet. When we sit, it's like a garden hose with a kink in it. Um, and it can lead to health problems. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like I should s- tell my brother. He shits a lot. He might be what? fucking himself up. If we squat, the poo we slides out, out in a much healthier fear, way. And now we're just coming out with this technology. Which doesn't put point. pressure on your bums if you squat. It comes out. So, what, your ass won't fall asleep if it's like you're Mm. in there for a while? Ender says 1.2 billion people around the world who squat have almost no incidence of diverticulitis and fewer problems with piles. I have that. It's ridiculous. Um, What's diverticulitis? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, well, you gotta get your squat potty. You gotta get your squat potty. One seed, one, you know. (sighs) Yeah, it really. You know, there's like a. There's like a list of shit that you're not supposed to be eating when you have that. That yeah. I bet that you probably totally eat. Oh yeah. On yeah. occasion, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, like I'll know right away. I'll, we oh, love Japanese food. Oh yeah, you're not supposed to eat that. You're supposed to have like meat in like two it's, ounce portions, yeah. which is like um nothing. This big, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it's like nothing. I can't do that. Yeah, no sunflower seeds, no any kind of seeds, Peanuts? no nuts, I, nuts, no I loved my Mountain Dew, no Mountain Dew. <laughs> what were, what were the nuts that you I've been saying that. What were they, babe? Pecans? Ca- okay. That's what Harold had in Cashews. the whole like, I love Yo, my nuts. She used, to <laughs> damage, she used to damage a bag of cashews. I love eat cashews. Eat the whole fucking bag. Mm. But you want to talk about... Like I have to take you to the hospital, sick. I didn't oh, even man. know. We didn't know. I yeah. had it. My mom has it, rig, and babe. my what? You have my rig. Yeah, yeah, my mom has it, and my grandmother has it. Oh, is that hereditary? 
I, it must be. It must be. Like, uh, it could be. And yeah. I was like, um, maybe I don't think I have it. Cause I We're going like, to get you a squatty potty and see I if I want to get one. I need a little bit of nuts, you know, and it didn't bother me. But when I killed off a half a bag, oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. You see the light going through the bottom. Give me. Nice. Look. She just seen it. No, what? Yep. That's pretty cool. Do, 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 yeah, that was do, wicked. Do, do, do. Um, I want to get you a squatty potty and see if it helps, babe. Yeah. I, I know what? it might help. It so might help. The shit out of the kids with that. No doubt. What? The kids believe there's a green eyed monster under the bed. <laughs> Hide in the closet. Yo, I go. thought I had a green eyed monster in the basement when I was little. Yeah. As it turned out, it was Polly's glow in the dark sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> when I was like six, I was like, no way. Oh, I took up, it to the up, point like. Up, Glow in the dark sweatpants? Yeah, they were black and then they had some letters on them that like glowed in the dark. Man, you just I do not even remember any of the fucking thugs, gangsters, wannabe hood rats, or anybody ever wearing You just threw Paulie under the bus. Yo, he was like 10. Oh, okay. He was like a small child. Not you, Paulie, that's listening, but my brother's name is Paulie. Like, um, yeah, it was to the point where. How would you know the Paulie that's listening had glow pants? You know. Dude, it was to the point where, like, I would not go in the basement. So, you know, up north or whatever, the basements, and you, like, keep your extra canned goods down there and, like, mm -hmm. the washing machine and whatever. Like, my mom would be like, oh, Lord, go downstairs and get that. I'd be like, mm, no, mm -hmm. no. So then it, it came to the point where I would not go down there so much so that my dad went and, like, boarded up the windows and, like, <laughs> held my hand and walked me around. I was like, baby girl, there's no such thing as monsters, but here I will prove to you that there's none. <laughs> boarded up the windows and I was, still, I was still so scared to go in the basement. I'm we, like, yeah, you go back. down. Like, we had the boiler room that was like that, but yeah, I was terrified. You know, like, oh my god, because yeah. it's scary, and Fuck then they yeah, make all kinds of weird noises, and they yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah and then there was that, man, like, there was that, um, there was that, um, what's we call it? The uh, those old. Um, cupboards oh in yeah there. dude so we had you the know, ones where like you right. walk down the basement stairs and like to the left and to the right there was like a little bit of like maybe this much of a gap that like led into like this much of like underneath the floor for like storage or whatever like mm -hmm. shit was cool as fuck however you know when you're however, walking down the stairs and you're a small child that's scared of the basement so there's like a big <laughs> there's a big open gap here and a big open gap here and then a big one on the bottom of the stairs like you have to like quick run real quick but like they're fucking cement stairs so you don't want to run too quick like i was trying to give a demonstration like this was the stairs and like yeah <laughs> it's visuals jim give, give her a break jim they're visuals. i'm trying she like, gives you visuals bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> what do you want from me, Jimbo? Yeah. Hey, um, so, hey, did I tell you I found out that Timmy's been listening to the show? Yes. Yeah. So, Tim. <laughs> it was like just a few minutes ago. <laughs> well, I wanted to just give a big shit, a sh big shout big out. Shit. A big sh <laughs> shit. Big shout out. Yeah, squatty potty shit out to Timmy. No, just big shout out to Tim and Joe and everybody out there. How you guys doing? Uh, boiling any alligators lately? I uh, hope everything's going good. What? What'd I say? What'd I say? What'd I Listen, say? It, there's no fucking secret. They burned that motherfucker down themselves. Give wow, me you break. see this, babe? Insta whore. They're, Here, they're, look, I'll show they're you. trying to <laughs> blame somebody else for it, but. That almost looks like death. Insta whore. Very first picture. Wow. Skipper. She is a whore, huh? Right, Insta whore. Yeah, she is. She's a porn star. Yep. This is that makeup thing, so. Oh, okay, yeah. Because I'm clicking to see what all these bitches look like. <laughs> Try to think. How you yeah, look, Insta whore. <laughs> I w that would be me. No. Oh, I, I thought was you were the, the Insta whore. I am a whore, but not an Insta whore. It You're a takes me a little bit to get up, going. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Not instant uh, for you, huh? Not like, instant for me. Yeah. I'm an old man. Takes a little bit to get the fucking blood <laughs> pumping and other things pumping. John and, you Brown. Know. John Brown. I know a John Brown. John Brown. I feel like everybody knows a John Brown. Are you Hell no. Be like, who the fuck is this? Look, that awkward moment when you realize no one wants to catch you. Crowd surfing. Big fat chick. Oh, no, dude. That's very bad. Yeah, yeah. listen, if you're over 200 like, no doubt, don't do that. Don't go crowd surfing because everybody in this picture is running. If you're over like 150 pounds, don't go Don't go crowd surfing. That's for like skinny bitches. Yeah. Or small. And listen, if you're a chick. Yeah, but not even that, but like the chick. The, um, who was it? Who? Which one was it? Um, it wasn't Lady like, Gaga? 
I think so. I think it was Lady Gaga. She was surfing or whatever. I don't know. No, it wasn't Lady Gaga. She put her finger in her butt? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They Who would just that? keep sticking like it right there, you know? And she was like, that's it, never again. I'll never surf. Yeah, it was one of the I mean, like, what the fuck was she wearing that all these people were able to snick her fucking, what she's you know what I mean? Wearing. Like, At that point, she's out in the crowd. You could tear it all off, you know? Like, yeah, that's fucking that's crazy true. to do yeah, that shit. Yeah, that problem. Who, Bette Miller? No. <laughs> my Bette Midler ever went crowd surfing, I'd fucking run, dude. I hate her. Oh, that's Can't funny stand thing. that woman. Yeah. God, I hate her. Wow, that is incredible what makeup that look. Here's another insult. Let me see. I'm like, wow, that is incredible. Oh, yeah. I gotta learn how to do my makeup better. I can become you another person. See, become um, another person. Become see. another person. Yeah. Like, she'll do that. You something can see love. Now and then see I what- can do all that I want to say Courtney Love, but no, it's not. Oh her. no, it's she's not. always ugly, with or without makeup. No, yeah. it's uh, not Courtney Love. She's a porn star. She's um, Jenna Jessica Love. I can't remember her fucking name now. Jessica but Love go- is our musician that we in Ebor. Jessica Love. That's her name. Jessica something else. I thought. Yeah, no, no Jessica, Jessica Love is definitely the one from the thing, because I remember you guys okay. talking about that when right. you got and back. There, there's a porn star that, that um, is actually friends with Joe Exotic, um, who, yeah, she takes her makeup off. Oof. Oh, the one yeah. Timmy was trying to go. Yeah, the one Timmy was all over it, it'll never have a fucking chance with. Besides, I heard she's got AIDS. Well, yeah, for that. I did. I'm serious. There was a whole article about um, porn stars and having AIDS and all of this kind of stuff, and... And she was one of the ones that were listed to have HIV. Oh, now that would suck. Damn, I didn't even know. What is that? Um, those, those are flies. That, oh, ew. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> you know you didn't wash your ass right when you're out in the middle <laughs> of the desert. And all the flies are and swarming flies to your are ass crack. <laughs> swarming onto your ass uh, crack. Unless you're on naked and afraid. Yeah, yeah no, then no. you got somewhat of an excuse. But I feel like I, that shit is scary as fuck. Can you imagine being those people? Would you do it? No. Hell motherfucking no. I enjoy my air conditioner, and I enjoy my TV, and I like my internet, and I can't imagine my life without my phone. <laughs> like, no. No, no oh, like, that's fine, like, for a little bit, you know, here and there. For a day. They go for, like, a month, don't well, they? Like, yeah, 21 days. A, I would not be naked. No. No, nope, not happening. And then what if you fall and then you're going to get a stick up your bum or another hole and then, oh, oh there you go. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, yeah, I, don't I wasn't planning on going straight there. Yeah, but like, the other <laughs> shits are a piece of cake. There's only like half the deserts in Africa. Yo, I feel I like I see a lot of them the get Brazil shipped off at dehydration. And like that, and so like, yeah, I don't know if I could. Yeah, yeah but when you get rained on for 15 and days straight and you're pruned out, like, literally... See, I'm not that girl. Survival classes. I yeah, have no I'm not. I'm not the girl. <laughs> I know shit. To eat. I got uh-huh. I know you know where we should take him? him to the caves. Yeah, yeah. you've never been there, have you? What caves? The caves. Up in Inverness. Oh. Oh, shit, that's funny. I tell you. Yeah, I am so cool. You know it. You wish you and me. So get a life, fuck boy. Wow. Oh. Okay. Oh. Who the hell are you talking to now? No, nah, he he uh. knows who he is. No fuck the hell. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I know the fuck just, it ain't. Just me. as quick as his fuck boy little fag ass came into the chat room, that's how quick his fuck boy little fag ass got thrown out of the chat oh, room. Oh, wow. No, it's not him. Okay. Listen, he's got to come back to Spring Hill eventually, and when he does, there's a lot of people that want to see him. And it ain't going to be pretty. Huh? Not to, uh, yeah. yeah, he's a dumb fuck. What a fat boy that left Spring Hill that has to come back. I th- you were just saying him. a little while ago, like, oh. Well, yeah, well, that's what he, happens. He just said it's that's what happens when you log right. into my chat room and you say stupid things. Because I block your fuck boy ass real quick when you come into my chat room and say stupid things. Uh, wow, I was going to say, I'm like in the chat room and I didn't even see anything. That's because I monitor it very diligently. Bing, 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 bing. I don't want to say it. But your mother is fat. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh I have to God. show you this. Look at this. Is that a pair of panties? Is that a thong? I hope not. Because oh, holy dude. shit. Look at the size of that thing, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> I forgot. I took a picture of this lady's shirt at my job because it was so funny. Check it out. All right. So here we go. We got another douchebag in the, in the chat room. We got uh, 
Such a hacking pro. Shut the fuck up. You're a nobody, Lou. Timmy, you're just a butt pirate, so it doesn't matter. I really don't give a fuck what you say. You see, I'm the one who owns what I do. You're the one who still works for a fucking faggot. Oh, my God, that's funny. That's hysterical, right? Like, oh I was like, oh, my God. God. I was like, can I take a funny. picture of your shirt? I was like, yeah. I got to have it. Like That is funny as hell. Yeah. yeah. That is funny. Bye, fag boy. Um. Yeah, so it, it's funny as hell. You just deleted that one out, too, right? Yep. Yeah. That's not, yeah. Uh, not only deleted them, I block them. So now he's got to go back and create a new one, and I do this all day long. And Hack Pro? What the fuck is this Hack Pro bullshit? What are you talking about? Um, who the fuck was that? That was Tim Seppi or Joe Exotic or one of their little fag fuckboys out there from the GW Zoo. And keep it up. Things are just going to get worse for you guys. I'm telling you right now. Keep it up. Lady D. Wow, she got some ugly feet. Ew. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, what else have we got, guys? Wow, it's already ten thirty. Wow, it oh, is ten thirty. Look at that, huh? It flew by. It flew by. Some of these pictures. Oh my god, that is horrible. Oh, I know the back boobs. That the is back so boobs. Gross, right? like, who the fuck would wear their shirt and like that? Like, and, and then and to, to make like, it like yeah, to make for it support. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> they, they like the back geez, boobs. Looks like you know what it looks like. Some of the women that work at the GW corner. Zoo. Is that what? What? A guy in the lower left corner. That's a guy in the lower left. Corner. That's a guy in one of those fat blow up suits. Yeah, yeah. That's oh. fucked up. That is funny as hell. So, yeah, yeah. What a trip, dude. Holy shit. Here we go. This one looks good. This guy's sleeping. Beep. I got beep. Oh, my. Look beep. at this fucking. He looks happy. He's like, what the fuck? Right? He looks so happy. Dude's probably just. Yeah, dude's probably sitting there just farting up a storm on the plane. Oh, could you imagine sitting next to somebody like that, dude? Just that they just sit there and ripping ass the whole time. Uh, I'd be I, like, stewardess, please come and arrest me and get me off this plane. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I have so many birthday parties to go to next weekend. Seriously, and I can't even like I have to work. I already took one day off. I can't take two days off in a row because I took the day two days off before that. Oh. Well, because Michelle and I are going to the mail review on the 25th, and nice. then on the 27th is my friend Bruce's daughter's birthday, and, like, um, I've known her since birth. I'm not, you know, like, I have to be there. I right. have to, like. In June, though, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. We're going in June. It's not my Yeah, the 27th. Yeah, my bad. I got confused. All right. Maybe I can attend this party. Um, No, the 27th is totally clinch fist, and my buddy Frankie's band are playing at the same place. Oh, really? Like, oh, nice. Uh, next month. Where are they playing, babe? Do you remember what uh, he said? Where they broadcasted the eBook. Oh, really? Yeah, right over there. Nice. nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll go down there. I uh, what's him called? Carlos wants us to come back yeah, down to Ebor City and do some more broadcasting. You what? And toilet paper for Michelle. What happened? And what? And toilet paper for Michelle. And toilet paper for cigarette shell. Oh, oh, you're um, going. I was yes. like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, uh, oh, do you have I, money? Do you no. guys know if if tomatoes on your skin does anything? No. I guess that means does, you need money. Does right. tomatoes well, like when you're out sunbathing? Well, there's. I, does tomatoes do anything I, right for back. you? <laughs> What'd you say about tomatoes? Does tomatoes do you, anything I, for I, you I, when I, you're out sunbathing? No, but that's how you get sun-dried tomatoes. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. Uh, yeah. That's what it says. It's sun dried moment. I, I, I guess. Yeah, you get a little tan, get some sun dried tomatoes. That's fucking funny. She's just a nasty bitch, yeah. is what that is. <laughs> she's I got it on her legs. Go there, but yeah. She's just a fucking nasty bitch. You know where the other tomato is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I thought that was a rosebud. Oh, was that a cherry <laughs> tomato? <laughs> oh, shit. That's cherry funny. tomato. That is hilarious. Um, thirty percent. What? Thirty percent of what? How much she made when she left there? Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, what else we got okay, in the news so here? Let me go over here and let's see. So, in health news, study finds that orange juice improves your memory. Okay, that's a good thing. I need to remember a bunch of shit. Where was that now? I lost it. Okay, there it is. Um, and then we got three days fasting triggers regeneration of old immune cells. 
So if you fast for three days, then your immune cells come back, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, that one's uh, pretty interesting. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Um, Florida judge throws lawsuit voucher. No. Oh, yeah? What happened? Uh, I can't believe that they're bringing that Shawshank, they're calling him the Shawshank fugitive back to Ohio. Oh, um, the dude that, yeah, that guy like, that, that, yeah. He was arrested out. in 1959 mm -hmm. then, and now he's 79 years old. Was arrested on May 4th in Melbourne from escaping an Ohio prison in 1959. He's been on the run for 56 years. Wow. 56 shit. years, dude. Like, isn't there a statute of limitations on even yeah. that? Um, he was caught in Florida from a prison. He'll be going back to Florida, I mean, back to Ohio. Frank, whatever, freshwater. Um, Frank, freshwater? That's his name, Frank Freshwater. Freshwater. <laughs> I was going to say, did you say that funny or am I like hearing it? I feel like... Frank Freshwater? He told the judge that he would waive extradition to go back to Ohio. But he changed his mind last week when his attorneys argued, confusing his first court date appearance. He didn't want to waive his extraction, blah, blah, blah. So now he's going back to Ohio to finish out a life sentence. Oh. Yeah, but he's so, eighty something fucking years old. I mean, how much of a life sentence is it is? You know, he lived his life already. I'd be like, yeah, send me back. Legalized cat. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. I seen that. No, that's funny. Oh shit, that's fucking great. Legalized catnip. Nicole, oh, that's too much. I love it. <clears throat> what else we got here? Any other hackers that are jumping into? Talk no, shit. they're not stupid enough to fuck with Anybody me. Anybody got something to say to me? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Tossed out of loss. You know what else is funny? Joe Exotic went and he got his uh, press credentials from, I guess, uh, the United States Press Agency. Oh, yeah? Yeah, wrong one, dickhead. You, you, you went to one that's not even accredited. It's it's. I could build a fucking website and say that, so good luck with those fucking credentials, you fucking idiot. That's what happens when you listen oh. to a fucking mental moron. I was going to be nice. I was going to be nice, but... I thought you no, were I nice feel like you were nice. I was going to be nice until like either one of those dumb motherfuckers came into my fucking show and said some stupid yeah. shit. Wait till tonight on your fucking show, dude. Wait till you see what I do. <laughs> you, you were nice. I don't know why. I was nice. I was trying to be real nice. I even fucking tried to get a hold of Joe the other day and, and you know, tell him, listen, I'm sorry. I was a dick. I overreacted. I, I you know, I apologize. I didn't work. No, no, that's okay. So now I'm just going to be a bigger dick. Except I got shit up my sleeve that you guys don't even know about. And it had nothing to do with burning no fucking zoo down or any of that stupid shit. It's just your own fucking demise from your own stupid shit. <laughs> your own fucking ego is what's going to get you, pal. I got friends in high places that don't like you who have guns and badges. It's like the opposite of that song, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah in Pasco County, the kids are skipping school so much that they're going to try to come up with a way to improve attendance. Mm, nice. So one of the ways that they're considering is to throw the parent in jail. Oh. Now, um, I've actually heard. Actually, there did was, you tell me yeah, that they're starting to. There do, was yeah. a lady that did get thrown in jail for her um, kids skipping school, and um, let me tell you. You throw me in jail for my kids skipping school. When I get out, you're going to throw me in jail again for beating the shit on my kid to go to school. That's the only thing we ask our kids to do. Go to school. Finish school. After that. Yeah, you know, no doubt. This is fucked up. Um, and, and I say this word all the time, but I say it out of joking. And, you know, we play around with it. We do the nickel, you know, and all that kind of shit. But, like, within minutes of President Obama... Um, starting up his Twitter account and saying that he was going to start tweeting, they fucking attacked him, dude. I mean, calling him 
well, I'm going to say it, but they were the calling actual the actual N-word, like, yeah. Yeah, back in Twitter conversation, 10 minutes starting, engaging, and depleting, calling President Obama a nigger. Um, wow, that's fucked up, man. That's stupid. I, you know what? He may be a black dude, but he's a black guy who walked into a fucking white man's mess. Yeah. Sorry to say it. So I don't blame him for nothing. Not a fucking thing. He had to fucking wipe up the mess that we created. <clears throat> so. Oh, let's see who's this. We got more people want to be friends. I got a fucking friend request coming out the butthole here. Um, yeah, so my friend totally put this thing up. It said, hunters kill 13-foot, 719-pound alligator and phosphate pit near Bartow. Yeah. Yep. That's a big motherfucking gator. Hell yeah, they and I was this reading. This thing is like massive. Just to see the picture mm-hmm. of just his head is like. Ptah! I was reading some was animal it, is activists. It with two cops? Are the two cops like right there? Oh no no! That head yeah. is like bigger oh, than the upper half of his. And body. And that's for like, real. I was reading a bunch of animal activists reports or you know posts about that and oh why kill them and this and that because you. Why oh let them live? First of all, there's yes. way too many of them. Yes. They're not endangered fucking species oh, anymore. Yeah. 13 foot. They're not endangered species anymore. Um, they're fucking predators. I mean, yes. To kill animals. Uh, For no reason, know. that I can understand. But but when they're I'm sure so they're making a bell and a purse and, you know, some gator tail out of this one. It's probably like a whole lot of gator tail. It's feeding a lot of people. Well, I'm when sure, BJ like, Gators was open, it's now our beach. Yeah, oh, our beach, oh uh-huh. they had gator tail there. And let me tell you, kids. I'm going to ask you girls was... something. Are you girls that insecure that you have to fucking go from one boyfriend to the next? Oh, I was going to say, like, damn, I, I might want to talk some gator. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, uh, I have to ask this because there's a girl on my Facebook. Some that, girls are. Some girls Just don't know how to recently feel got a fucking divorce and has already got a new man. I mean, are you that fucking insecure that you, you know? I sit live there and I have dick? this conversation all the time. Like, if something ever happened and Jim and I got divorced, I would never remarry. Ever, I would be and single for the if, rest of my life. I didn't marry like, him after 23 years. Why the fuck why would I marry the next guy? guy? <laughs> That's number one. I mean, I have kids with him, my yeah, whole my yeah, life, yeah. and everything. That's one. And two. No way, man. No man would even move in with me. You don't understand. He would live in his own Here, house. Here's I would live what's in my even house. mind-boggling. Here's what's even worse about it. She's the ready to get married again? The ink was not, not even, even dry, dry on her though. fucking divorce, and she got with this dude back in February. Oof. So maybe she. that's one of the reasons for the divorce. Well... Could be. The husband was a fat fucking slob anyway, and she's like one of these health nuts, and you know her. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Already, dude. Uh-oh. Already. Uh, the one yeah. that got away. Yeah. The one that got away. I mean, the one, uh, I've known her for years. Yeah, I was going to say, the one that got away. <laughs> no, thank you. Fucking high maintenance hoe like that. Um, I just think it's funny how insecure the girls are. They break up with their boyfriends, or the boyfriend breaks up with them, and then fucking 20 minutes later, they got a new boyfriend that they've already fallen in love with, and, and, and uh, are ready to fucking change their whole life. And yeah, it's just fucking people are stupid. Fuck that. Like Michelle said, you and I break up tomorrow. I'm done. I'm fu- My pecker is going to fall off because I'm fucking everybody. <laughs> that's not really what I said. But it doesn't matter. I'm just saying. Say. That's what I say. I'm not getting together with anybody. I'm getting together with everybody. <laughs> yeah, right. Fuck it. <laughs> Uh, I'm watching this video. Um, this guy uh, in Oklahoma um, got all fucked up from a hurricane or from a tornado. I'm sorry. And um, he comes out from this storm shelter and starts calling to his dog. And I mean, he's covered in blood. He's all battered and shit. And his dog comes running to him. And he don't give a fuck about nothing else. He's he's just hysterical crying. And, he, and you can see it's it's tears of joy. Um, just because he's got his dog back, man. All right, so now we have your pathetic in the chat room. So let's see what Timmy or Joe or one of these little fag boy fuck boys have to say now. So ready? Uh, 
person to do anything to you, silent mesh, no problems with you, your partner just doesn't know how to shut the fuck up and talk to you about nothing and thinks he's somebody. All right, let me let me just give you a little piece wow, of advice there, like Joe, making up some shit, or huh? Timmy, okay? Now you're going to piss me off, okay? And I am going to get on a fucking plane, and you will see me, okay, in about 12 fucking hours. Me and a very good fucking friend of mine. Let me, let me explain something to you, okay? You think for one fucking second, okay, that I am a nice guy or I am an asshole? You're fucking right, okay? Just remember, Timmy, you still have family here, motherfucker. Okay, just remember who the fuck I am. I know who you are. I know where you are, and I know exactly how to find you. And all I got to do is reach out with a phone call, and you're done, fuck boy. All right. Well, and I know it's Timmy. I know it's Timmy because he's just a little bitch. He's just a little bitch. I tried to be nice. You're going to put me on a defense again. Okay, no problem. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to take everything I've got, and you're done, pal. You're done. Um, my little FBI agent is going to be all over your fuck ass. You watch. You watch. <laughs> so anyway, in other news. Uh, let's see. National Cannabis Patients Wall, um, Dana. You remember the pa Cannabis Patients Wall and all of that, Dana? And I think we got everything back under control. I think she's good to go. And, uh, yeah, the National Cannabis Wall is back up and running. So, yeah, it's going to be great. Um, so where, where, where else? Were, wow. Now that's a picture. <laughs> Just clicked over and that's what I saw. Here, look, I'll, I'll, here, I got one to match you. Fuck that skinny bitch. Oh, nice. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's yeah, an ass. That's an ass. <laughs> look at Alicia, that. Alicia, you have to look up. That's an way. ass. Hell yeah. yeah. I like that. Right? Yeah, I'll, I'll match your skinny belly with this fat ass. No. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Enough said. Enough said. Uh, All right, so it looks like uh, we're going to have to make a phone call to Henry the Hitman. And, um, yeah. Yeah. They, I guess they don't realize that, you know, like Oklahoma City and Kansas City and all those Midwest towns are um, spots where my boys hang out. So, yeah, you just keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to have fun with this one now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Is that fucking guy a fag? Uh, well, yeah, I think so. That's, no, that's <laughs> what you said on him. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Paulie, I, I'll be honest with you. Um, some of the references he made. Now, don't get me wrong. I seen some of the chicks he was with, okay? And some of the girls he was with were pretty fucking hot. And I, you know, I broke his balls about it. I was like, damn, I'm jealous, dude. That bitch was smoking. But after getting some of the info that I got last night, um, some, some replies that he had sent to some Craigslist ads about meeting up with other men, yeah, he's a, he's a cocksucker. <laughs> I can't put it any other way. I'm sorry. I, I, you know, he is and he is. I he is and he is. That's I right. I don't give a fuck that he sucks dick, but... This one or this one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. Um, oh, how's you... How, you got a raise. I guess he got a raise. He probably got a raise from 300 to 500 a week. Um, after they found out that Rick wasn't coming back, I guess they, they think Timmy's going to do a better job producing the show. Um, the funny thing is, is the only fucking camera experience Timmy ever had was the time that he had that I put the camera in his hand. So, I mean, <laughs> Why does Facebook even give me the option to like my own status? Of course I like my status. I'm fucking hilarious and sexy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and sexy. Yeah, right. Everybody that's listening, go, go to this fucking... <laughs> Hey, go to this faggot's fucking Facebook page. His name's Tim Seppi. And just, just friend request him and just start blasting him with he's a faggot. He's a, he's a dirty, no, cock-sucking faggot. Get in, get in trouble yeah, no doubt they'll report you. Report me for what? Calling him a faggot? He is a faggot. I don't care. Yeah, report me for... Do you know how many times I get reported a week on Facebook? Do you know how many times I get spanked on Facebook for something I say? I don't give a shit. I got like 80 different fucking accounts. <laughs> Yeah. Free LSD, I love it. Nice, I'll take it. <laughs> there so, we are. It's all cut up in dabs. I love it. I'd take the whole sheet down and be like, "Well, guys, see you next year." <laughs> That's too fucking funny. Anyway, 
All right, so let's do a little recap of what we got here. Um, first and foremost, um, yeah, we're going to war. <laughs> it won't All right, be long. so let's be won't, nice. First and foremost, thank you very much, Polly B, for checking in. Chatting with us in the morning. Yeah, definitely, Paulie. I appreciate Good you checking uh-huh. in. Got a new listener on the, the show. For the nice, niceness. The fucking to keep it nice. Yeah, nice. the 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 uh, the show likes are going through the roof, man. I mean, we're they're, they're getting up there pretty fucking hard. And it is more than ten. It is more than ten. What? It's always more than that. <laughs> no, the no. Mobile, Whoever was writing that before put your ten listeners. Yeah, it's always. And then by fucking 12, 1 o'clock, there's 30, 40 listeners. And by tonight, there'll be 70, 80 of them. So I don't give a fuck. Um, You watch. Go into the chat room at Joe Exotic TV tonight. There'll be like five people. And it's like the five people that work there. (laughs) No, actually, he's got a pretty big audience. But they just. I want to go back. To unfortunately, that. they don't. He doesn't realize that they just tune in to see him make a fucking idiot of himself. So, police chief asks for yeah. marijuana decriminalization in Israel. Well, that's it. I'm moving to Israel. Going back to my Hebes, <laughs> my Heb brothers and sisters. Uh, let's see here. What else have we got? I guess that's all we really got. We got about ten minutes left of the show. Oh, oh. dang. You know that thing that I showed you yesterday on my Which phone? Thing? Between that person and that other person? Oh, well, yeah, yeah. the boy was totally friends with the husband. Also, it was a friend thing that the friend fucked the friend's wife, and you dirty fuck you. Oh, mm. man. Oh, but look, it's got the, the boy greatest. Was in the room? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Because we were in the room. It wasn't. No. We were in the room. We weren't there for that shit. <laughs> yeah, right. It's totally the greatest part of that movie, though. What's that? Oh, uh, American History X. I'm sure you saw uh, it, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Isn't that Vin Diesel right there? Uh, no, 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 no. It's uh, Edward Norton. Okay. It looks just like Vin Diesel. Yeah, because he got cocked as fuck for this movie. Did he? Like, yeah. Hell yeah, because he's kind of like a puny guy. Yeah. He's not very big at all. Like, Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I started uh, getting set up. I'm going to start working out again. It's time to get back into it. I'm tired of being a fat fucker. <laughs> Tired of being a fat fucker. Um, let's see. Talk shit road ho. Who the fuck is that? A road ho? Yeah. It says talk shit road ho. On what? I'm looking at our followers. It says talk shit road ho. It like a tire. Yeah, it's got a big cat. Get the fuck out of here. What? That's a little weird, huh? Oh, yeah, that's very weird. What the fuck is that about? Yeah. yeah Talk yeah, shit yeah, road yeah. hoe. And it's got... I don't know about that one. It's <laughs> a little strange, man. That one's a little strange right there. I ain't never seen that one before. I always look at our followers to see who's following us. Here's um, Jim, I hear him. Yeah, you can hear him pulling back up. Yep. There's some pretty cool names. Some people, um, when they change their name and they put it up, I'm going to fucking kill him with that fucking speaker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's oh, a white boy thing. I'll tell you that much. What? That, the bass? The bass is a fucking white boy thing. I got to say, I know a lot of black boys that got the I bass, too. too like, but I yep. know way more white boys. Yeah, Jim has had that since the day that I fucking met him. Like, every yeah. car, he He's always, always had, like, yeah, oh, my God. Yeah. He, that's how I used to wake up, because, you know... We've been together for a while, so you know that song, Get Your Freak On, Get Get Your your Freak freak On, on. every day, that's what I would hear is, boo, boo, doo, 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 boo, boo, doo, 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 it was like my alarm clock every day, which wasn't the worst thing to wake up, I'd be like, oh, fucking Jim's home, like, (sighs) and then I'm like, damn, I have to get up and go to school, because that's how young I was, (laughs) that's funny, that is too funny, what the fuck are these two doing, let's see, back off. So you got your wife. So this dude and his wife just got married. She's a stripper. She's up on the fucking thing dancing right now. So I saw Oh boy. Okay. Oh yeah. What oh happened? really, dude? Oh, you saw the dude. 
that we were just talking about? You saw that, dude? Yeah, we just ran into each other. We're playing after air. I asked him if there was anything I could do for him. That really yeah. sucks, dude. He asked dude. me his usual question. You could tell he was punching something. His hands all jacked up. Cut yeah. Because he didn't do nothing stupid, did you? He's like, no, So, anyway... Um, how to enter the gym when you know your pre-workout kicks. The ultimate warrior. He's a fucking maniac coming into the ring. Um, what was I going to say now? I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. So, uh, that's the end of the show for today. All right. Um, what is today? Today's Tuesday, right? Today's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Tomorrow's hump day. I guess we didn't have our takeover Tuesday today. Nope. Um, bastards. Yeah, we'll find One out. One week in a row, motherfuckers. Yeah, I'll find out what's going on with them. Oh, shit. They were supposed to be here and be in the studio and yeah, take over the show. But nails. What happened? Yes, sir. Hey, yeah, no doubt she'll fucking jab your eye out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's best with grabbing the throat right here? I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, no doubt. I was like, she's going to talk about fucking ripping somebody's ass out. Look at that look, too. She's like, yeah. She's like, fuck yeah. I'll see it, right? Get some. I'll see it. You know what else, too? Someone goes to, like, attack you, got their arms up. Ooh, bet your ass. I'm going to fucking jab you <laughs> into the armpit. Bang! How you Where like me now? Be awesome! Right. Oh, that's funny. Remind me never to fight with this chick right here. <laughs> she's vicious, dude. She's definitely vicious. vicious. Tomorrow, yeah, she's, she's, I fight very dirty. She likes to get nasty with the fighting there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she's a little thing too, so you know she's. Oh, yeah, crazy. that's what makes you worried about it. I'm like a Tasmanian devil. <laughs> and that's why I always fight people that are way bigger than me, too. Yeah. Motherfucker, try yeah. me. Well, Please. That, that was one of the first things that I learned growing up was not to show fear <laughs> to <laughs> anyone. Can you see? Oh, that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> you know how they say they all look the same, Lou? Look. Well, I know, this is hilarious. What's that? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> see it on TV? Can you god. imagine? Oh my god, dude. Oh, so shit, you remember Roy, me. right? Roy, right. that's where they used to live with us. Fucking true um, is that? If you go down to like the tower, you know, and then you walk across the bridge, there's like that little park back there or whatever. Well, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but like in like a frame, like it's a fucking picture frame and shit, there's like the pedophiles or whatever. One of them yes. looks just like Roy. I'm talking like. They could be fucking weird twins because they are like so identical. It's scary. I'm like, oh. Uh, <laughs> like you get down and I'm like, the bathrooms and shit. And then that's not what you want to be right. fucking associated I, with is being I have a pedophile. To interrupt like. for something. Um, and uh, Paulie, I, I hate to do this, okay, but for you to come into my chat room, you're more than welcome. But for you to come into my chat room and advertise your show, that oh, will get well, your I ass banned out of my chat room. You want to advertise your show, go start yourself a Facebook, go start talking to people, go get yourself a couple thousand episodes. Do not come into my chat room and ask people to go listen to your show. I will tell you what I tell everybody else, that I will ban your ass. Okay, My chat room is not to promote your show. Right? One and only warning, next time I see it, you're banned. Damn, my plan is foiled again. Yeah, right? <laughs> With that said, <laughs> Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. We will be back tomorrow to talk some more shit and see what kind of mess we can stir up. What do you guys say? All right. <laughs> Till the Hasta morning. Hasta mañana. Nice. Got that in just in time. Oh.